place where such type of deliberations may be initiated. Mizoram is one of the finest opportunity. It, it has the finest opportunity with collaboration of Ministry of Education, Bharti Bhasa Samiti, Bharti Bhasa Manch. We can do lots of things to promote Mizo language and other dialects which are spoken and written in the state of Mizoram. We have with us various dignitaries who belong to Shiksha Sanskriti Uthan Nyas. Professor Vijay Kumar Singh happens to be the regional coordinator of that Shiksha Sanskriti Uthan Nyas New Delhi. He has been kind enough to give his time for the Bharti Bhasa Sammelan at Aijol in the Ikfa University and gracing this occasion as the chief guest. With us, Professor Hitendra Kumar Mishra, who is head of the department of Northeastern Hill University, Hindi department. I must welcome him that out of his busy schedules, he has been kind enough to grace this occasion as the distinguished guest and make our program successful. With us, a professor of Mizu department from MJU, I always respect him like anything. He is just like our guardian and he has done tremendous work, tremendous literary work to promote Mizu and his initiatives to translate this into uh, Hindi and there are lots of his books published. So I salute him for his initiatives and encouragement to his youngsters. There are mostly teachers who are his direct students. So it is his kind grace that he has been here with us this morning as a special guest and we will be privileged to hear his keynote address on the important theme of Bharatiya Bhasha. This Indian knowledge system is having roots in the Indian languages. Our Mizo language is very rich. It has got lots of cultural and various aspects which are confined to Mizo language only. So if it is propagated into other languages which other peoples can appreciate and learn about, that would be a great thing. And this is the initiative of the government of India. You will be surprised to learn that Ministry of Education has got a three-year program for the translation of various languages into popular other languages. For example, they have prepared primers for Mizo language, Naga languages, and all Northeast languages, they are preparing primers. And the, all the textbooks are scheduled to be prepared within three years. It is the program of the Government of India Ministry of Education under the ambit of Bharatiya Siksha Samiti, which is a wing of the Education Department, Government of India. So, you all are cordially welcome in this August occasion of Bharatiya Vasa Sambhalan. We have with us good number of professors of languages, good number of educationists who are very much keen to develop the language, Hindi, English, Mijo. Some principles of these higher secondary schools are here sitting here. I welcome Madam K.C. Rundam Sanghi. She is uh, our doctorate of honor and uh, we, I welcome her on behalf of ICFI. She, on this very short notice, she has been pleased to grace this occasion. And all my teachers, students and whosoever is willing to promote the languages are most welcome this morning here. So I believe that this program will go a long way and we need to 
go further to develop some translation uh, centers of our language if it is done with the help of the government of India that would be a great thing for the Mizoram because we have little uh, expertise in this very few people are working in this field and they have to be applauded so with this I welcome each and every person who are, is sitting in this room and as well as the organizers our two very dynamic coordinators who have done 24 into 7 activities to make this program successful and to organize the things very purposefully. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your welcome speech. Oh, do not see one. Can you address it to me? Mizo Tatana Mihlu and MA Patma Sri Wadi Professor Lone and King Tech and so on. And he, Mizo Academy, playwright and poet, literary critic of Mizo Literature. He was a principal of Serampur College and a former pro, uh, professor at Bach University College and the North Eastern Hill University. He is presently serving as the senior most professor at the Department of Mizo at Mizoram University. He is a recipient of the Pupuoma Award, the highest literary award of the Mizo Academy of Letter, and the Government of India awarded him the board and highest civilian owners of Padma Street in 2006. Uh, we are so proud of him. Senior Professor Atlong Kiente, good day, Lolo Mang. I greet each and every one of you, the multilingual speaker, and so Bharatiya Bhasa Sammelan, uh, here at E5 University today. As we gather here in this Mega Bhasa Kutwi, Mega is English. Uh, Basa is Hindi, Kutwi is Mizo language. Okay. I just put it like this, in my own way. Right, the magnificent uh, festival is referred as Kutwi in Mizo, Basa in uh, Hindi, and uh, Mega is the Grand Conference. As I said, Chibai is a warm welcome in uh, Mizu. In Hindi, namasta, Namaste and Namaskar uh, can be used as well. But if you speak to Urdu, Asala Vareko, in Tamil Nadu, Varatam, and in Bodo, Assam, and so Kurumbai, in Spain, Ola. And in Chinese, Mandarin, Ninhao. And Germany, Guten Tag. Okay, if you go to Germany, Guten Tag is, uh, you, must, you must say Guten Tag. And if you go to Korea, Anion Haseo, you have to do. Okay. And Namimar in Garo. And Namimba, I'm fine, just say like that. Kuna Pilong in Kasi. And then Kuple Sibu in Kasi. Kalome, Idamen, how are you? Will be the next sentence to follow. Okay? Asanis, Tumar Nam Ke Tumye Just like that, we'll just do. Like that, at the time when you go out to pursue something, to purchase something, you may look the translation of Let us learn Ham CK Ziran O. It is available there, okay? They are outside. The term Mizo refers to the collective term for the original inhabitants of the current state of Mizoram, which includes the number of significant minor tribe like 
Lucemar by the Marapan and the like. Mesov is a word uh, from the Luce language and everyone knows. It appears that uh, the Luce, Luce is, or Luce or Luce is, okay? Uh, and the term Mesov to describe both themselves and nearby friendly tribes that have been adopted in the same language in place of their own lesser dialect. It appears Meso was used during, uh, during the process. We have two guests, friends. We have two guests from Myanmar. Please stand. Myanmar is, no, no. Myanmar is, no. Myanmar, Meso. Let. Harding Delek in Panima. And so, I'm thinking that in Germany, in local, like in Long Kong. Okay. Sit down. Uh, the measles are important to the hill tribe of the Indian subcontinent. Linguistically, they speak measles dialect belonging to Tibeto Burman family of languages. The measles dialect itself is closer to the to the languages of Burma and Tibet than that of the Chinese, okay? Uh, you know, there is a quirky story that narrates how the traditional tri tribal groups of Mizo lost their original, uh, you know, script one day. That script was written on animal skin, which one day was eaten up by a stray dog, leaving, uh, leaving the measles without a script they call their own. There is one book outside. Writings of writings in Mizo manuscript is displayed there, out there. And so that is about the loss of, uh, you know, uh, the, the loss of that script in various writers like uh, 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 is writing are uh, writing you know uh, that uh, uh, animal skin the lost topic and so however the Christian missionary set food in Mizoram and began to Christianization of the state which very soon was converted to Christianity its entirety. The Christian missionaries then compiled uh, what, is, uh, what is referred to as Meso alphabet, alphabet, the using Hunterian script of Romans, Roman script in 1894, in line with the script already used in his writings by the then Lieutenant Cornel T. H. Lewin in the 1870s. Okay. 1870s, which resulted in a, re a rapid uh, development of Mizo literature. The language of Mizo is, uh, you know, some people said Mizu, and then some people said uh, Mizo, Mizo, and so the correct pronunciation will be Mizo. Okay, Mizo. You please pronounce uh, like uh, uh, as I did. It. Uh, Mizo, and so he spoke in mainly three independent countries of India, Myanmar, and Bangladesh. As we have seen here, the total population in 1961 was three times bigger than the, that of 1901. From the figures thus projected, no less than 96% uh, of the population wanted to call the, uh, themselves as Mizo, Mizos. I, uh, you know, like our Syrian people said Mizos, but, uh, you know, uh, even if we say Mizo is also uh, correct, okay? And so, because I have written a paper, uh, written a paper, and so, like, uh, I will not, uh, uh, you know, read, uh, like, uh, each and uh, every one of the lines, okay? then uh, I'll say the present status of Mizo language, okay? Mizo Trong, Kalaya here, Mizo Trong in Kong, and here, 
India Kongin Kongi, Baratia Basa Samelani, Aki Ania, Juan Kadu, Juan Mizo Togin Kasai, Vak Tate, English in Kananti Ram, Rama, Kantute, He Anza Oma, Juan Juan Kanantia, Masa Mizo Toma, Soika, Kadu, Yan, Ali, Kitwan. Present status of Mizo language. Though it is not, uh, I, I'm just saying, I'm just telling that if it is Indian tongue in Kongi, Bharatiya, Bhasa, Samela, I can speak uh, in Mizo very much. Okay. <laughs> but, but anyway, I'll try, to, I'll try to speak in English. Though it was not implemented immediately, the Mizoram Official Language Act 1974 was passed by the Mizoram Legislative Assembly, the government of Mizoram formed the so-called Mizo Language Board, which made once or twice with a much significant change. After 12 full years of in 1987, following public pressure, public pressure given by some organization, Mizo language was notified as an official language uh, uh, of the government of Mizoram since August 15, 1987, saying in exercise of the powers conferred under Section 3 of the Mizoram Official Language Act 1974, the governor is, of Mizoram is pleased to under that uh, with effect from 15 August 1987, the Mizo shall be used for all official purpose of the government of Mizoram at all levels. At all levels. Mind you, at all levels. Cho cho koi muna po mante inna aniya. Dona chuan amang chapter to Mizoram Public Service Commission and they are fine for Mizoram Public Commission to a Mizotong Vekinam Ziyaka, Mizotong Aziyaktang Kakhelo. Mizotong Saptong Tiamlo Le Chaklo Deo Shimshim to a Koi Lai Fai La Pono Ziyak Maitaya. Kesi Run Rundrem Sangiti Office Art and Culture art and culture there when Mizo Tawin and Zia Lowani Romo Sa Tawin Atsu Lama Tawin and Zia Pekari Chu Chu Aniya MPSC Ho Tawin and Zia Pekari Chu Vam Tawin Apoi Mo Eh Tawin Now, looking at the subject of Mizo in the educational institution the vertical design Mizo subject began to uh, to be told in 1930 at the matriculation standard under the Calcutta University. Then in 1961, the Guwahati uh, University introduced uh, Lucy vertical at intermediate stage, following uh, followed by the degree course in 1962. Then the Mizo elective subject was introduced under Nehru in 1983 and upgraded uh, to degree course in 1993. Now the Mizo campus of Nehru, Nordiskan Hill University headquarters at Shillong, introduced master degree course in 1997-98 academic session with the birth of Mizoram University in 2nd July 2001, the Mizo department has, uh, you know, has been functioning as a full-fledged postgraduate institution. And also, we have introduced, we have introduced in a quiet university, the Mizo, Mizo and Cultural Studies, okay. And so, like, uh, uh, allow me to say that, allow me to say that the three important person in the dais, let me tell you, it was proposed by me. Mizo, uh, uh, you know, 
museum, department, and cultural, uh, cultural, this one, uh, cultural studies. Uh, I was the board of, uh, member of the board of governors, you know, uh, you know, Ramapa Dips. Ramapa was the uh, uh, vice chancellor there. Ramapa Dips, and so like, uh, uh, you know, vice chancellor, chancellor. Uh, Ramapa was chancellor, and so he was uh, like, like uh, <clears throat> Ramapa ka chancellor and the like um, board of governors member Kenya, so that's one. Can committee pass sadar, mezo sabse idin dia, he ba kia no katia, so so can and to adon dia, we'll think about this at the end, so that's one. In the second session, in the second uh, Board of Governors meeting, he agreed to start the Department of Legal and Cultural Studies here in Ikfai University. And so this is the, you know, uh, the one who is organizing this kind of India company in company. He, uh, his own department, Din Alaunita Kalom the Mizo Language Development Board Bill was introduced by the uh, Legislative Assembly in 2022 and on September 29, uh, 2022, it was published in the Mizo Mizoram Gazette. The inaugural meeting of the board took place on November 17, 2023. We can do, uh, you know, all we can do is uh, is hope to uh, hoping that the board will move decisively to support the development of and, and promotion of Mizo language and literature. And then uh, the chairman of the board is here. Would you please stand up so that uh, so that who are the ones who are the ones who are Mizoram board can neta puzwala hi puzwala ho yan chattakin kan ma kan son he kan dei se ani Mizos the Mizos today produce a sizable body of poetry dramas essays and uh, novels articles and critical reviews and other written works that are available for translation into other languages for uh, and for distributions outside at the state of uh, like outside the state of Mizoram, uh, when eminent literary institutions like National Academy of Letters, uh, you know, you know <coughs> Sahitya Academy for the Central Government of India acknowledge Mizo as one of the major Indian languages and uh, you know that will determine the identity of the uh, language in modern India. Modern India. As the Mizo language is a lingua franca of official uh, and official language of the state of Mizoram, due recognition should be given. Uh, given to it uh, by the leading literary organization as well as the government of India. It is a high time that uh, it is included, uh, like uh, it, uh, it is included in the eight schedule of the Indian constitutions. Since uh, this tribal language, Mizo is spoken in five major states of Northeast India. Namely, Mizoram, Tripura, Manipur, Assam, and Meghalaya. Eight schedules in Changhe Soi. Vyo Kadwa, Kakalna Pia, Nakasari Trinania. Mizo, Omlona, Mundana, Po Kasari Trinania. Eight schedules of Indian constitution are here. Nyeri, Atifa, Lopon, Ponam Trina. Marse, and create a new farm. A chana, ki tuan, tuan, tuan. E chadu la ka nilu ki apoyimu e mani. Di ka kan triya atu la. 
Apart from India, there are two independent states, Bangladesh and Myanmar, where a large number of people speak the language of Mizo uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. The question of its identity in India today lies upon whether the leading literary organization like Sahiti Academy or the government government recognizes the language uh, the language of Mizo uh, to be one of the important languages of India. What is the future of Mizo language? Endangered language. Okay. Din Mundaraton Taka Adinganiti UNESCO in an soya UNESCO to a Din Mundaraton Taka Mizo Tongi Adinga Anti Yeni. For the richness and revitalization of this endangered language, we must consider it again and again. Yes, endangered language of the Atong Kimai to Rama and Soyevangin to to Nai Poemoila Achatlea. Next is translation. Translation of literary works of a particular language has been the need of the need of the hour as we are traveling together in the big boat of India together with the uh, chief guest and guest of, of honor and in fact the vice chancellor itself at uh, this university. We travel together in a big boat, okay? And so scholars and writers from Northeast India must be perfectly alert to translate creative writings of uh, each stream, uh, either in uh, Hindi or English, uh, in the first place, uh, to be followed by the subsequent edition. I had a meeting with the former governor, 3 PSS Pillai, on 28 November 2019, at his, uh, his official chamber at Rasbadan, and I kept a few books, including Let Us Learn, Hamsi K. Ziran O, and also Mizo Natra uh, in Hindi Volume 3. The point I would like to elaborate is the need of bridging better communication through books. As we progress together, without any hate or trade. The desire for the stronger ties with our neighboring states and countries must be felt in such a way that uh, we can help uh, them to know more about true, more, more about a true translation and also uh, by reading the translated work of themselves for healthy development of the whole, re whole nation. Having the attitude as above, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh, trying my level best to write more plays and poems to be translated into Hindi, into Hindi that, that must be, uh, that, uh, that followed, that must be followed by subsequent translation into uh, the other languages of our neighboring states. All right. Be fakangai translation he be fakangai ni kan chevel state po hiya an tinasalo ko maya chua chua ni te pato chua ngai. Please, as of now, at least ten miso plays have been attempted to be translated into English and five of my plays have been translated into English language. Even now, some of the Hindi version on display outdoor, a total of 13 plays have already translated in Hindi. Five more will be printed soon, uh, you know, for curious readers, and so please uh, know about that, check about that. Please check outside. Uh, outside tables, uh, you know, for more information. Poems. Poems are popular. English poems are uh, English poems are uh, you know many, but like uh, this is original English writings. Then 
English, in, no, me, uh, um, miso writers uh, like uh, uh, wrote poems in English. That uh, I'm talking about the translated one, the translated one. The indigenous culture is important, and so like uh, indigenous nature uh, should be reflected. And some had been the published in, in English uh, again. Miso Poems and Folk Tales, 2002, Sahiti Academy published it, and the same book in Bengali was published, the Bengali version was published in 2012. Okay. And Folk Tales of Mizoram, and so we published in 1997, and so the, the revised version is also came out in uh, 2012. Four tales are translated into English, Hindi, and Bengali. Subsequent translation is expected. Uh, another point is Anvesha project. We have Anvesha project, and so uh, they called me. Uh, they called me and, and my team uh, to participate in uh, Assamese, uh, Assam Guwahati and selected essays, short biography, folk tales, and are translated. And children, children's stories are also uh, translated in Assam, Bodo, Kasi, Garo, Manipuri, six languages. And so those things, those things collected by experts from, uh, from, uh, from the state, different states, uh, like uh, uh, we translated into Mizo, but like uh, it is not yet coming out. So this one, so this one can be kapa to to kin kalo be be ya. So bang tuan tran pui kan na yen e ma tran pui tu kan na mo. So so kan sa wa ya ta ni, kan sa wa ya ta ni. Not is steady speed the ka aum tia tia la. Not is studies up here, Mania Proneri, TCs are low detail, comparative studies, low detail. This one, Kasi, Kasi play, let me so play compared to Roman Kandia, how we are. Naga play, let me so play, Kaki to Roman Kandia, how we are. Miso to a Kandi Zoka, to Chuban to a Kandi Mika, Bokan. Kam Zoka Kapoi Moa. The kind not is studies and there, not is program to come from Delhi and there and we are. A can chat out there, chow rao ek can tie give me here. So one to one chan and life there, I did the cancel, cancel, I did two. So with that, I will, I will try my level best, you know, to do so to that work. And so our chief guest, uh, Vizi Kumar Singh, Registrar, uh, Registrar of Sarla Birla University, and uh, distinguished guest, uh, Professor Hitendra uh, Kumar Maharaj, uh, Ma Misraji. And so our, you know, uh, our vice chancellor, Professor Dr. Vijay Singh. And respected friends, and students. It is a high time for us to what? To open our eyes in Bharatiya Basa Samelan way in the Antonin Kompui Zola here, Ikfai University. I congratulate Ikfai University for having this kind of program <coughs> and so Siksa Sanskriti Uthan Nias Delhi and so uh, Bharatiya Basa Manch, New Delhi, and Bharatiya Basa Sikhirte uh, Samite, uh, the Ministry of Education, Government of Mizoram. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, very good, very good. And so this kind of banner writing at the, uh, at the front and at the back is a good idea. A good idea. And so, the organizers, I will praise the organizer. If we take photographs that side, and so like a blank walls uh, will be seen. And so that this way it is possible for this. Thank you.
thank you uh, for the contributions of conveners chief of the Mizo department and language department. I'm so very good to do uh, to hear this, and so I congratulate the uh, you know the vice chancellor, the vice chancellors and department concern uh, for doing this kind of good work. And so uh, you know, Kalome, Kalome, and Eme, and thank you, Daniel. Thank you, sir, for your passion and contribution to the richness of the Mizo lexicon. So, let us now feast our eyes and ears to a performance of Lado. So, I would like to invite the Department of Mizo for this performance. Lado is the chance and raised by the hunters. A successful hunting has taken place. And something Lado can be done on the spot or on the way homes or just before entering the village or on the celebration. Sain silahi apu waktu nak waktu rakan besi ni ya, pindah mineral ring tu kau ni ya. Kecuali kesentetan, sale dural kepian puye, ketuve. Distinguished guests today, 
प्रोफेसर हितेंद्र मिश्रा हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हिंदी नेहू शिलोंग अदर डिग्नेटरीज हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी एंड माय बिलवेड स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू कंग्रेचुलेट शिक्षा संस्कृति उत्थान न्यास एक फाइव यूनिवर्सिटी एंड भारतीय भाषा समिति फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सच टाइप ए मेगा प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम द कोर ऑफ द हर्ट आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक थैंक ऑनरेबल वाइस चांसलर ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्सिटी एंड हिज टीम फॉर गिविंग मी दिस प्लेटफॉर्म टू शेयर माई थॉट्स एंड व्यूज as we all know that the meaning of mizoram is the land of inhabitants of hills life of whom is full of music dance and other related rich cultural heritage important festival of mizoram are chapter kut christmas etc which teaches which teaches us morality kindness teamwork and care for other in society gender biasness has no place in mizoram which force us to think and act accordingly handcraft and handlooms especially that of bamboo are important trade in mizoram and the workforce here are identified by their hard work and truthfulness after kerala mizoram acquires second place in india in terms of literacy rate important rituals related to marriage here teaches to live peacefully i will fail to describe mizoram if i fail to address padm shri darshana who wrote more than 23 books on the rich cultural heritage of mizoram and who continuously worked for protecting the culture of mizoram this state has acquired important place in communication and education in northeast and this effort of the state is being supplemented by government of india through opening nits central university and others today while coming to the venue i roamed around the city and i am very much impressed after witnessing the beauty of the city indian nature has gifted a lot of this city and residents here are playing important role in preserving the gift i really salute them in the line of protect culture and heritage including education and morality shiksha sanskriti utanyas has tried to provide a unique platform to all educationist for the implementation of nep 20 to foster the implementation of nep 20 in india this program has organized and firmly believe that this program will prove to be a milestone for the above stated regions shiksha sanskriti uthanyas firmly believe that there is no alternate to mother mother land and mother tongue we should talk about solution not problems third if we want to change our nation then education should be changed this program is focused on celebrating diversity developing harmony and national integrity through indian languages to foster the same government of india has made several high powered committee indian language is like a code in it are the means love the stories and ancient wisdom indian languages have evolved over time but what they still exist in the annals of literature for they are preserved it is the light of mind 
it shifts thoughts and emotions and determines one's perception of reality. In India, the states are divided on the basis of languages to ensure the holistic development. This is also an effort to preserve the culture and ensure that no disagreement arises due to the languages. Every Indian language <coughs> are our heritage, therefore, its protection is must. According to the census in 2001, there are 122 major languages and 1599 other languages are spoken in India. The data regarding the number of languages may vary, but it is important to preserve and protect them. According to Article 343 40, of the Independence, English was supposed to be the official language, and there are, thereafter it was to be replaced by Hindi. However, we could not able to implement the same. I don't have any problem in reading and writing English. However, I do feel that all other Indian languages should be protected, preserved, and they should be given equal importance. Therefore, I do feel and would like to request to you all from this platform that we, we all should use our mother tongue. Mother tongue is essential for maintaining cultural identity in a rapidly changes, changing world by preserving and promoting our native languages. We can ensure that future generations will have access to the same rich heritage that our ancestors had. This will help them to form a strong connections with their cultural roots and to be proud of their cultural heritage. According to various research conducted on, conducted on mother tongue, it was established that a child learned more in his mother tongue. Mother tongue is intrinsic to expression of culture as a means of communicating values, beliefs and customs. It has an important social function and fosters feeling of group, identify and solidarity. It is the means by which culture and its traditions and shared value may be conveyed and preserved. To ensure the same in NEP 20, it is suggested that till class 5, a child should learn in their respective mother language so that they could learn more and instead of job as job seeker, they should become job giver. To foster the same following steps are being taken by government of India through their various nodal agencies. First, various, various time oriented schemes for promoting languages like Tamil and Sanskrit etc. Writing books in various languages as a special initiatives by NCERT, UGC and AICT. Promoting research and innovation in Indian languages and allied platform. A special action plans to promote Indian languages. Organizing Pan India Meet to showcase the use of technology in and to promote Indian languages. Publication of books in all, almost 22 regional languages. A special directions by UGC to higher education institutions to issue question paper in regional languages too. Motivating faculty to write book in their respective regional and Indian languages and making the same as one of the important criteria for promotion. Various inclusions related to Indian languages in evaluation framework of NAIC. Engineering and medical educations are to be given in the local languages to increase their sharpness, understanding and applicability. We know China, Japan, Israel, like countries have done research extensively 
in their local languages and have become more developed. If they can succeed in their endeavors, then we can also. Therefore, to make the dream of Vixit Bharat come true, we should preserve the Indian languages and should give more and more stress on their use. Today, on this hall, teaching fraternity and students are present. I urge you all to become the factor to bring change and development. We should always try to believe in the concept of nation first. Then only our Indian can become Vishwa Guru. We should always feel proud while using our mother tongue to ensure the development of Indian and to make India Vishwa Guru. We need to respect our mother tongue and other Indian languages too. We should also learn other Indian languages and should promote them at optimum platform. The vision of Vixit Bharat is not just about economic prosperity, it's about holistic development that respects and preserves the cultural and linguistic identities that define India. The recognition of Indian language is a crucial step towards building an inclusive and culturally rich nation where every community, irrespective of its size or linguistic background, contributes to the development of India in 2047. I strongly believe that the Indian language is one of the strongest tools paving the way of Vixit Bharat. Thank you for listening to my views very patiently. Once again, I would like to thank Siksha Sanskriti Uthanyas, Ikfai University and Bhartiya Bhasa Samiti for this opportunity. Thank you. All the best. Thank you, sir. And our team is in promoting the Indian languages and its preservation. And we hope your stay here in Mizoram is pleasant. อ๋อตัวนักจวนสายมวยตักไม้กันไม่ใช่ตัวนักเบ่งเฟียดซากซ้อมตักไม้กันนี่ซ้อมตัวนี้ปัตมาสฟีวอร์ดีดักตัวเ
I will say the first, uh, the first one only. There was, uh, you know, Mao Guang village uh, nearby, nearby, and so, uh, you know, the uh, in in yes, one day, one day a deer came to that place, and uh, young people, young people of those uh, that that village, wanted to kill very much kill very much and so they are trying to, you know, they are trying to test, you know, the sweetness of the deer. But one poet, Oi Kampa was there, one poet, and so like uh, you people, young boys or young, young people of that village, you are so, you know, uh, uh, so to say, um, that is not the important thing. The most important thing. The important thing is Kung Yu, like that lady. That lady was, uh, you know, shifted to another place. Uh, that that was a good singer, like Casey, Casey, and so. Uh, that was so sad to move out of this village, and so that is more important, and so that is more sad. Instead of instead of a, a, you know a deer a deer's meat okay and so just to eat and so uh, instead of that uh, we want Kungyu uh, that lady to remain in the city no in the village but uh, because uh, she uh, he is uh, she, uh, he is interested 
to have to have that lady remain in the village. Great. Okay. Great. Great. Thank you, sir. And thank you, ma'am. That was mesmerizing. And it is women like you that encourages the younger generation to cherish their roots. And I would now like to invite Professor Hitendra Kumar Mishra from the Department of Hindi, Northeastern Hindu University, to deliver a speech. Respected Vice Chancellor, Professor Vijay Kumar Singh, if I must say, I own. Respected keynote speaker, Padmasi Avadi, and uh, learned people from uh, Mizoram culture and language. Professor L. Khaitangeji, our chief guest of today's program, Professor Vijay Kumar Singh, Registrar Sarvadurla University Ranchi, Jharkhand. Two most important part of this inaugural session, which was delivered by Madam and some of the students here. Quite a of this program and talk with us, learned friends, students, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to say one word from Mijo Chiba to all of you. Which uh, word I learned today uh, and just uh, bring with me this word in the Khasi people and uh, Hindi people. In the Khasi, as uh, Professor Kitangi also told, Khoblai, Khoblai Sibun, Khoblai Sibun Metela, Namaskar, Namaste, Sabipo Bohut Bohut Namaskar. Friends, as we know, we are gathered here today for celebrating the diversity of Indian languages. Bharti Bhasa Sammelan. Bharti Bhasa Sammelan, who is in the same way, who is in the Bibhutaon ka desh hai, there are so many diversity in language, culture and other things in our country. Lekin eek chee joh sabse mahatapulo mujhe dikhti hai, why is Bibhutaon mein ekta? Just before we heard uh, one uh, folk song, jis mein hirne ke maare jane ki, hirne ke maare jane ki katha hai. So see, स्टोरी हमारे यहाँ अवधि में भी मिलती है इन द इन द डायलेक्ट ऑफ लैंग अवधि द सेम स्टोरी समथिंग अबाउट डेड द हंटिंग ऑफ द डियर 
what they are. और इस जो जो इस गीत था उस गीत का जो कंटेंट था वो कंटेंट तो अलग हो सकता है लेकिन दोनों का जो उद्देश्य है संजय जी बैठे हुए हैं जानते हैं उस चीज को कि दोनों में उस मारे जाने को लेकर के जब नॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू इट द मीट ऑफ द इंडियर तो वह उस मारे जाने की घटना को लेकर के जो सेंटिमेंट्स है उसको लेकर के अवधि के जी बड़ा ही सुंदर गीत है और छापक पेड़ छिहुलिया कपत बन गहबर हो जहां तर जहां जहां छापक पेड़ छिपुलिया तो पतमन गहबर हो उसके नीचे जो हिरणी विश्राम कर रही है वो मारी जाती है उसका हिरण का जो विलाप है हिरण मारा था हिरण का विलाप है तो मैं इस बात इसलिए कह रहा हूं कि ऐसा लगता है कि जैसे हमारे बीच कोई एक तार है जो पूरे देश को जोड़ देता है यह सांस्कृतिक स्तर पर यह भाषा के स्तर पर हमारे रहन सहन के स्तर पर हमारी सोच और हमारी समझ के स्तर पर और इसी सोच और समझ को विस्तारित करने के लिए जो हम ऐसे आयोजन करते हैं भारतीय भाषा सम्मेलन उस सोच और समझ की जो एकात्मकता है उस एकात्मकता के विस्तार के लिए करते हैं कि हमारी जो जो डाइवर्सिटी है उस डाइवर्सिटी में जो हमारी यूनिटी है वो यूनिटी के बिंदु क्या क्या हैं अभी थोड़ी पहले बहुत ही गंभीर और मैं कहूं कि बहुत अच्छा व्याख्यान मैंने सुना तो उसके बाद कुछ खास कहने को नहीं लेकिन एक बात जो कहना चाहता हूं यह यह कि भारतीय भाषाओं को लेकर के जो एक नए चिंतन और नए शुरुआत करने की जरूरत है सर इन द सर्वे ऑफ रिहर्सन जहां की उन्होंने दे इंडिकेटेड सम होल्स और उस अगर उन बिंदुओं को देख बोर्ड से अगर हम फिर से विचार करते हैं तो हमें लगता है कि हम भारतीय भाषाओं को फिर से एक साथ जोड़ने के लिए हम काम कर पाते हैं एक्चुअली हम जब अपने भारतीय इतिहास को देखते हैं तो भारतीय इतिहास में एक लंबा समय है जिस समय में हम हमारे जो लेखन है जो इतिहास का लेखन है जो हमारी संस्कृति का लेखन है जो हमारे भाषा का लेखन है वह हमारे द्वारा नहीं बल्कि दूसरे लोगों द्वारा किया जाता है उन दूसरे लोगों ने जो हमारी इस डाइवर्सिटी है उस डाइवर्सिटी को उस विविधता को उस अंतर के रूप में देर देर वेरी मच इम्प्रेसिव इन दिस डिफरेंस और उस डिफरेंशियल को वह ऊपर करके हमारे बीच एक अलगाव जैसा करने की कोशिश उसे दिखाई देती है और उस कोशिश के बाद जब हम फिर से रिविजिट करते हैं अपने 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 लैंग्वेज को अपने कल्चर को अपने इतिहास को लेकर के तो हमें ऐसा मिलता है कि यह जो डिफरेंसेज है वो डिफरेंसेज क्रिएटेड डिफरेंसेज है बल्कि जो मूल है मूल चेतना में कोई ऐसा अंतर दिखाई नहीं देता क्योंकि अभी मैं कहा कि ये यह जो फोक सॉन्ग है बिल्कुल अवधि में मिलता है बहुत सारे बहुत सारे हमारे रिचुअल्स हैं और रिचुअल्स में हमारी एकता दिखाई देती बहुत सारे हमारे जो व्यवहार है उनमें हमारी एकता दिखाई देती है इसी 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 बात को लेकर के हमें लगता है कि जब हम रिविजिट करते हैं तो हमें लगता है कि सबसे महत्वपूर्ण जो संसाधन है इसमें जोड़ने का वह है कि हम नए ढंग से जो शिक्षा है उस शिक्षा के नए तरीके और नए प्रकार से हमें खोजने की कोशिश करें अभी जैसे कि प्रोफेसर विजय सिंह सर ने कहा कि 
सत्तर साल अस्सी साल की शिक्षा के बाद फाइनली हम जब स्टूडेंट से पूछते हैं क्या करने के लिए पढ़ रहे हैं वो तो कहता कि नौकरी पाने के लिए और वो जिसको नौकरी नहीं मिलती है तो कहता कि नौकरी सरकार दे ही नहीं है तो जस्ट जस्ट मतलब जो हमारी एजुकेशन है वो एजुकेशन हमें एक ऐसे बीमार जाप शिकल के रूप में खड़ा करता है कि जहां हम समाज के सामने और राष्ट्र के सामने और, और प्रदेश के सामने सरकारों के सामने चुनौती बन गई अगर हम अपने पुराने ज्ञान संपदा की ओर जाए अपने पुराने अपने जो हमारे भाषाओं में हमारे जो संस्कृति में हमारे जो सभ्यता में जो हमारे संस्कार हैं जो हमारे ज्ञान हैं उन ज्ञान की ओर जाए तो हमें शायद वह जाप सीकर्स की जगह जाप प्रोवाइडर की स्थिति बन जाएगी ऐसा लगता है और इसे ध्यान रखते हुए जो नई शिक्षा नीति है जो नई शिक्षा नीति राष्ट्रीय शिक्षा नीति बीस बीस के नाम से जो सरकार लाई है उसमें इसी को ध्यान रखते हुए हमें हमने जो भारतीय भाषाएं हैं उन भारतीय भाषाओं पे अधिक बल दिया गया है एक स्टूडेंट जो जो मीजो मीजो का बच्चा है अगर वह उसे मीजो में शिक्षा दी जाए तो कंफर्टेबली जो उसे अंग्रेजी में शिक्षा दी जा दी जा रही है उससे अधिक उसकी समझदारी विकसित हो पाएगी और वह अपने जो कल्चर है जो अपने जो संस्कृति है जो अपने उसके कहक विचार हैं जो उसकी ज्ञान संपदा है उसका वह अधिक अच्छे से विस्तार अच्छे से उसे आगे ले जा सकता है तो लैंग्वेज केवल जो है नॉट ओनली द मीन ऑफ द कम्युनिकेशन लैंग्वेज एक पूरी संस्कृति है एक पूरी सभ्यता है एक पूरा समाज है और उसे प्रिजर्व उसे प्रोजेक्ट प्रिजर्व और प्रोजेक्ट करने की जरूरत है इसे ही ध्यान रखते हुए जो भाषी मतलब सम्मेलन है या जो सबके आयोजन है उनका मतलब यही होता है कि वी प्रोटेक्ट आवर लैंग्वेज वी प्रोजेक्ट वी प्रिजर्व आवर लैंग्वेज वी प्रोटेक्ट वी प्रोजेक्ट आवर लैंग्वेज नॉट ओनली प्रिजर्व एंड ओनली प्रोटेक्ट बट प्रोजेक्ट आवर और यह यह सब कुछ जब हम अपने उसमें लेखन कार्य को करते हैं अपने उस भाषा में हम अपनी सभ्यता और संस्कृति को प्रस्तुत करने काम करते हैं तो होता है हम लोग हिंदी ग्रंथ के लोग हैं और हिंदी हिंदी ग्रंथ में देर इज वन वन लैंग्वेज दैट संस्कृत और संस्कृत बोलने में लोग सर्वे आती है जो कि सर्वाधिक वैज्ञानिक भाषा के रूप में विकसित हो चुकी है और जानी जाती है तो कई बार ऐसा लगता है कि हम जिस भाषा के लोग हैं उस भाषा में भी अपनी बात कहने में हमें संकोच होता है लाज लगती है हमें एक एजुकेशन होता है कि हम अपनी भाषा में बोल रहे हैं इसलिए उसको इसको दूर करते हुए हमें इसको और ध्यान देना होगा कि हम अपनी भाषा को किस प्रकार प्रिजर्व करें और कैसे उसे हम समाज के सामने देश के सामने उसे हम प्रोजेक्ट कर सकें यह इसके इसके कई कई रास्ते हो सकते हैं एक तो यह कि हम अपने लोक साहित्य जो हमारा फोक लिटरेचर है और उस लोक साहित्य का का हम पुनः अपनी भाषा में और दूसरी भाषाओं में लेखन शुरू करें सर तो सर आ, अभी आ, आप कह रहे थे कि और अर्लियर फोक लिटरेचर वाज लास्ट एंड इन डेंजर तो वट इज दीजन टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वी थिंक अबाउट इट दिस इज दुट राइट से हाई टाइम टू रीड थिंक अबाउट दैट अगर हम अपनी भाषा नहीं बोलेंगे और फिर क्या कहेंगे हमारी भाषा खत्म हो रही है ये दोष किसका है दिस इज आवर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दिस इज आवर ड्यूटी टू सर्च टू रिसर्च देयर लिंग्विस्टिक प्रॉब्लम देयर लैंग्वेज प्रॉब्लम देयर कम्युनिकेटिंग प्रॉब्लम तो ऐसा करके हम अपनी 
भाषा को हम चाहें तो उसे बेहतर बनाने की कोशिश कर सकते हैं भारतीय भाषा सम्मेलन जो जिसमें जिसमें कि यह महत्वपूर्ण है नाउ प्राइमर सर रेडी सबके लगभग प्राइमरी के केस एजुकेशन के लगभग सारे बुक्स रेडी हैं प्रॉब्लम यह होती है कि हम हम सारी चीजें हम लोग सरकार और सरकार द्वारा जो एजेंसियां हैं उन पर सो, सोचते लगते हैं उन पर छोड़ देते हैं और जो ये ऐसे सम्मेलन है इस सम्मेलनों में क्यों हम चर्चा करके अपनी बात को खत्म कर देते हैं मित्रों बहुत सारी बातें कही जा चुकी हैं लेकिन अंत में मैं एक बात कहूं कि भारत जरूर विविधताओं का देश है जरूर यहाँ डाइवर्सिटी है लेकिन डाइवर्सिटी के बीच जो सांस्कृतिक सामाजिक संबंधों के तार हैं जो कंपनी कल्चर आप इंडिया है जो भारत का सामाजिक संस्कृति है जो इंटीग्रेटेड कल्चर है उस इंटीग्रेटेड कल्चर के बाश को लेते हुए हम चाहें तो उसे भारत के नए निर्माण की बात नए भारत की बात हम कर सकते हैं और इसके लिए यह सबसे उचित समय है कि जब हम जब हमारे देश के प्रधानमंत्री दो के विकसित भारत का संकल्प लेकर चलते हो तो मैं कहता हूं कि अपना एक छोटा सा योगदान भाषा के रूप में करके हम सभी इस यज्ञ में और इस भारत की रचना में और इस यात्रा में शामिल हो सकते हैं इसलिए इस भाषा सम्मेलन के अवसर पर मैं सभी भाषा भाषियों को देश के मैं बधाई देता हूं कि नई चर्चा और नई बातें शुरू हुई हैं और निश्चित रूप से यह मुकाम पर पहुंचेगी बातें मैं उसे कहानी थी लेकिन समय काफी बीत चुका है मैं अपने व्याख्यान को नहीं रखूंगा जो मैंने तैयार किया था एक सूत्र में यह बात करनी है कि दिस इज आवर ड्यूटी टू प्रिजर्व एंड प्रोटेक्ट आवर लैंग्वेज एंड प्रोजेक्ट टू अदर्स दूसरों के सामने उसे हम हम उसे प्रोजेक्ट करें और उस भाषा को हम आगे बढ़ाएं इन्हीं बातों के साथ बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आप सबने सुना और आप सबने मुझे अवसर दिया यहाँ आने का बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सर आई वुड नाउ लाइक टू इनवाइट डॉक्टर बीजू नाथ सिंह द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल साइतवाल टू कम ऑन द स्टेज One correction, please. I am still not doctored. We can get to in such a way. Can go in. They turn line by what line in share the hand to get till can get to get in. They are not saying it. Ajista, any atunder, asoitunder, katikan, kan soitu mga. So, kami slap pa katatangin, kami dear story soita. Kaka ang masoita na chuan, avadi, avadi chu, ay tulsi das kayo siya nga, ram charit manas siya to niya. Ani chu, ay popular, hindi ang mga ni, तो दर्शन कंटेंट जो आई नंबर लोग मार से अच्छी मुखा असोई मुखा आई नंबर रहने नहीं तो जो असोया आओ हम जो जो इंडिया रंग हुन्शंग शंग आजुआन है तेरे फोक टेल्स ले ऐसे नहीं आओ मा मार से अकंटेंट अतुम बेर मिशिंग अजीर्ति तुम बेर जो आई नंबर थवरी एफर्ट शंग शंग का अम्हांग बेरी जोन जो मिन्हुआ ज Wave, wave ka o mani. Kami wave chu and tin ni mishing le mishing kani ni night thaya. Asan chu, tu na chuan kani ka differences here tam lu tu ka. Differences kan ti chuan, 
रिजनल ते लैंग्वेज ते लिंग्विस्टिक ते कल्चर ते ऐले इनलेट एंकिंग हा अशला मासे है दिन कन इंसान चुंपल कन इंकार यूनिटी ही ओम थे नहीं ऐसा जो है प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन कन एंजुआन है दिन कन यूनाइट लोग जुआन कन हिस्ट्री ट्रेन पर कन शेयर ला फॉरेनर साउथ का लिंग इन्वेस्ट नसल चुगने जो जो कन वेंग थे नहीं जुआन the Indian languages are differences from the language. Foreigners have got advantages and there are differences between the divide to the other side. I say, we have to say that the Bhasha Samiti, Bharti Bhasha Samilan, we have to say that the language is not the same. The language is not the same. The language is not the same. Tengani translation mungkin kan share dia tu benih. Cuma tiap pakata soi ka, hey serkia itu pun asoya. Language si ati te puni, ral te puni. Masa kata ini ni kan bent he ya. Hey tu sokar ini waktu ati lo. Cuma kan share tu tu mikuin. Eng language ni an man ber. अन लैंग्वेज मन बैठ चुके हैं तो ना चुके इंडिया कन एम चुके हिंदी ही कन वर बेरा मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ पीपल स्पीकिंग इन हिंदी का निता जो आगे कन मानी लिटरेचर ते ही हिंदी या दाईला एम ओ कॉमन लैंग्वेज दम आते को दाईला मी तम तखा तिखान कन थी ही अर्शे थे दोनों ने कन पॉपुलराइज थे � Hey, tam tak kah saya lawan ni. Jadi angin hey hi effort. Nasa jemin youths effort kangaya, colleges, the schools, teh ni thi la cuan terlalu kangaya. Cuan, adang lecuk. Hey mi language le, culture mungkin educate leka hi kan zip thi ni. Kan tuh berju na kan mu turkania. Masa hey ohi तुर मार रहे हैं जो प्रोवाइडर का अपनी थे नहीं जो सिकर नहीं लगे जो प्रोवाइडर का अपनी थे या जो लैंग्वेज करती जो कं कल्चर तांत जो थिल इंकिंग का अप्रोजेक्ट दिख जो वाले कं लैंग्वेज जो प्रिजर्व प्रोटेक्ट ले कं प्रोजेक्ट आया प्रोजेक्ट कं सोई जो है कं थिल ही कं ट्रांसलेट आया Cuan outside thil po kelak orang ni asal tu idea ni ni dah translation thil tam tak kalau tuan saya ni kasih law Mahabharata le Ramayana tu a translate le translate law ka 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 Vedas le translate le translate law ka kalau dia kan di cuan language ni kan enrich thil ni thil kan pon train kan la cuan kan hau sadona cuan ni tak train thil ka kan so cuan kan thil tu bidang ka macam thil law ni Kan cendera teh ni, cuan ni, ama saya dah la cuan, mana language ini kan top cuan, kan sakti ni, he, Sanskrit teh tu, insya dah la cuan Sanskrit tu mother of all the Indian languages, ania, asal tu Sanskrit tengin, engkau kah piang ni, cuan tiu kan scientific tu la cuan scientific discovery tanpa leh he tiu lui, ansui don pon Sanskrit la cuan om teh ni. Kau bela cuan Sanskrit tu language lui berkan itu doa. Masa tu nak cuan kan tenggel tebal ni kan bang tua lah. Kan sah cina ni. Cuan ini hehi pohi revive orang ayah. Cuan cuan ini mana language bang tua ni kan insya Allah tua orang ya. Time language kan konsep tua orang ya. Cuan writing hehi apoi mohon tu. Hati yang kan ti cuan. Language function can respect here can sang aya Midan ka kan hey Hake namaste kan ki chun a reflection ka om chene ni Ha ka kan shiya tu Mi language ka kan za chun kan language po an za to wana ni So I mean He mi mong in he hi A short in ka so ya thil chen ka chun ka miss me thaya So mi ta chun ka ngay hong dile Thank you Thank you Thank you Thank you respected professor Hitendra Kumar Mishra and sir Bijunath Singh.
We thank you for enlightening us with your visionary speech and fostering linguistic unity in diversity. And I am not fluent in Hindi, but I hope this goes right. Last but not least, I would like to call upon Mr. Vandal Chanakyamke, who is the coordinator of this Parvya Bhasha Samelan, onto the dais. As per the request of Honorable Vice Chancellor, if I have not speak, Professor Vijay Singh, we will try our best to submit his proposal to concerned department of government of India as a part of our recommendation. Thank you. For establishment of translation center. It's a great pleasure to organize Bharatiya Bhasa Semelan Indian Language Conference in Dia Chong in Kong Bui on this beautiful day with the pleasant weather at Ikfai University in Mizoram. It is a unique experience and achievement for the Ikfai University in Mizoram to spend time with the significant individuals here, including professors, teachers, academic students, and uh, extremely exceptional and bright people who make this event possible. As we all know, India has a hundred of different languages. All of these are Indian languages. Some languages, such as Hindu, Hindi, uh, have uh, most users, and others are scheduled language. However, all the languages are equally vital. Even the Bizo language, which have a multiple dialect, is significant in India. Bizo chong pokha hoi na po hiya ni tre bia lo bin makin lama po kan bang tu ra nga ila kan shiet lan he tur ani suan in he ta chos li tur te po kan tia ma su tiang suan in he tro ma po hi kan vor dar ve India chong poi mo tak ni ba ha kan vor dar ve te ka poi mo em em ani su su makin lama pun ron bang tu te po in ta chong bia lo bin then we thank to our chief guest, Professor Vijay Kumar, uh, Registrar Sarla Birla University, Ranji Jarkhan, for traveling afar from, uh, to make this event successful, as well as for his excellent speech. And we also thank to our chief, uh, distinguished guest, Professor Hitendra Mishra, Hitendra Kumar Mishra. Uh, Department of Hindi, North Eastern Hill University for his insightful and informative address and also who translate his speech, uh, Professor uh, Sar uh, sitting here. And we would like to thank to Padmasri Lanthuang uh, Liana Kiangte, a senior professor at Mizoram University for his valuable and interesting keynote address. There is such a thing that need to be taken care of for the future on his address. I wish we could all keep uh, thinking about it. We are very de uh, delighted to have our special guest, uh, Padmasri, uh, Madam Kesi Runemsali. Uh, yes, Dr. Dr. Kesi Runemsali, Padmasri, uh, who performed an amazing Bizon traditional song, folk song, with improvised music. Seki, Seki Khan. We appreciate it uh, very much, ma'am. We hope that your inspiration will pass on to the next generation. Trang thar te po in ka thila ka voi na kal khom te po kan chun zom le aai ani thil po mo tak mai ani a folk musician te kan te kan pa che mem to chu si nga a ma shui tu ani chu voi na hian in kan lo me me ma so so can appreciate any money to cut and share the opportunity. Then we thank to our VC Professor Doctor Vijay Kumar Singh 
for his wonderful contributions and uh, for making all the arrangements for us from the very beginning. So uh, he is uh, the one uh, who made uh, this program successful. We are able to hold this conference. We are able to hold this Bharatiya Basa Sebelan just for him. I would like to say this. We would also like to thank to the Mizo and Cultural Studies Department for showing us a beautiful dance and uh, performing a warrior chant. Klado Bola, uh, warrior Christ, uh, for skillfully showing us. In addition, we would like to thank to our usher students, teachers who are gathering here, and song managers and our uh, host uh, uh, who contributed for the success for this program. That we are very excited to see this, uh, the faces of our technical session a resource person, Professor Adiki, Professor Pu Lianzuala, and Purinoma, Putlua Machante, Puzali, and Tanga, and friends who are sitting here, Putlua Machatua, and others. And we are very happy to see your faces. Thank you all, thank you. Thank you everyone for your participation. Tea and night snacks will be available outside. So let us all meet up here again at 12.50 p.m. One minute. On behalf of NAS, Siksha Sanskriti Uthanyas, I have just now requested to our High Chancellor to open a center for different languages so you can learn other languages of the India. I request Honorable High Chancellor to say something about this. First of all, I wish to thankfully acknowledge the suggestion of the regional coordinator of Siksha Sanskriti Uthan Nyas New Delhi. Encouraged by his words and the your enthusiasm and the need of the hour, the ICFA University will try its level best to establish a department of linguistics so that the incorporation of all Indian languages can be made and people of Mizoram may have the benefit of knowing other languages, other dialects at one place. Thank you very much.
Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello.
So I have come 20 kilometers just to attend this program. <laughs> so, okay. I welcome you all and I really feel uh, happy and proud to be a part, part of this program. So I... Hello? Okay. So uh, when I got the invitation, I know that I have a meeting at 10 o'clock. So I was just thinking that I will not come for the program. But then I look through the program and I see the presenters, the program sheets, the names of the big, big people here. So I could not miss it. So I came all the way just to attend this program. Thank you very much, Ikfa University, for organizing this kind of a very important event and also including us in the program. Thank you. So the, the session is here, a technical session. But after the discussion with the uh, presenters, the speakers here, we will have a kind of a very light and relaxing discussion program, interaction program. So unlike other technical programs where we attend in a seminar, there will not be a very formal paper presentations. So we can relax, sit back and enjoy the uh, discussion. So in that way, we will have a very, very light and also in the meantime, a very, uh, uh, a very enlightening program. Okay. So the name of the paper readers, I will not say paper readers because they are not reading any papers. Uh, in the list, we have seen that the resource person for this afternoon are Professor Lerin Dikit T. Fan I. May I request ma'am to raise her hand? Okay, Professor Lerin Dikit T. Fan I. Please give a big hand. She is a professor from the Department of English. From the Department of English, she was she, she retired just uh, a year or so, and she is one of the very uh, prominent linguist linguist among the Mizo. So she have helped many scholars from the Department of Mizo as well. She has touched the field of Mizo linguistics in many ways. So today we are very lucky that she is with us to present, to share her expertise, and then we will be having. Uh, Pu Arnal Lianzuala. Okay. Pu Arnal is uh, also a retired from faculty from the Department of English in Frambana College, but now he is the chairman of Mizo Language Board Development. So he is the chairperson. Uh, today we are very lucky that we could have him. And we have Krishnakant Tripathi, please rise from your seat. Please, uh, please come and sit here. Professor Sanjay. Please, come here. He is educationist. He is uh, from the Department of Education. Today he will be sharing his thoughts about the importance of Mizo language in the Mizo language system, Mizoram language system. So it will be a blend of language as well as education. And also I have here uh, with us on the dais, Professor Sanjay. He is a professor from the Department of Hindi from Mizoram University. Okay, so with that, uh, that is a brief introduction. We, uh, uh, before going on with other introduction from the floor or anything else, I would like to request our professor, Professor Lalrin Diki T. Fanai, to share whatever she has prepared for this session. Good afternoon, everyone. Respected Vice Chancellor of Ifa Universities, um, various distinguished chief guests and invitees and the participants. Um, I have. I was notified about this. Uh, uh, Samelan about three days ago. Uh, in fact, I think uh, it was uh, uh, I. Uh, they wanted me to pray, uh, to uh, sort of write a paper and present a paper, but I didn't have the time because I'm currently engaged in some other work, and so I told them I'll just come and participate in the technical session. But now, of course, I'm participating now. I was, I was only hoping that I would respond to the paper presentation, but 
I'm participating now as a presenter without a paper, all right? Anyway, I have a number of things to say about this, but at the very outset, uh, looking back at the earlier session and the good news that we heard, like the uh, like introducing the Department of Linguistics in the Fai University. I'm very happy about that. And I would like to, I would like to uh, assure the Vice Chancellor that I could help him in many ways, right? And then another thing is that I would like to say is that I would like a Fai University to write a proposal on a center for studying Asian languages. You don't have it in India, in any of the universities. Center for Asian languages. Because Mizoram is a strategic uh, location where you have access to the Southeast Asian countries, etc. So it would be very good to have a center for uh, Asian languages studies. And uh, I had proposed with Professor Tiwari in MZU some 10 or plus 10 years ago about uh, you know introducing centers for Asian languages studies in MZU. But it did not get through the academic council because at that point of time many people are not very aware of the importance of languages and how a center for that type of languages would be very important in the in the, in aspects of political situation in aspects of social situation in aspect of promoting languages etc and it would be very good for india I would say India, because I have not seen that in any of the universities in India to have that kind of center where Mizoram is strategically located, right? So uh, today what I want to speak about is perhaps about translation and about uh, language, what human language is all about. Now, India, as we have heard in the first session, in the speeches, is a very diverse, uh, we are in a very diverse situation, linguistically, uh, ethnically, etc. And there are around 780 languages spoken in India, and there are around seven languages, families, spoken in India, out of which the three major ones are Indo-Aryan language family in the central and north India, and then in the Dravid Dravidian language family in south India, and then tibeto burman language family in the northeast and bordering the Himalayan regions. So these are the three major families of languages spoken in India. Now what I want to say here is that uh, before I go on to, uh, go on to uh, what language is about and the need of having linguistics technical know-how department in order to promote one's languages I want to talk about translation because ICFI is going to have a translation department and I want to be very, very honest about this because translation is not a smooth translation in another language. That I would like to say. Because if you look at the African literature, most of the African writers uh, writing against the colonial, right? They wrote in their respective 
languages and then translate again in English for the world to read. But in order to do that, if you look at the translated African literature texts, you will see a number of new phrases being coined, which you don't see in English lit uh, literary texts. I'll just give you an example. In their native language, the African used to call the British white buttocks in their native language. And that is literally translated in English. And wherever the white buttocks is mentioned, it means British. All right? So it's very important to even coin our own way of, you know, calling somebody who once upon a time colonized us. And then what cannot be translated in English, which is there in the African languages, they just keep it like that, and then a gist is given. You know, it's not a smooth translation. It should not be just a, uh, just a translation into a very good English or into a very good Hindi or into a very good other languages. You have to, we have to pick the cultural aspect of the stories or the written text in Mizo. All right? The cultural aspect. Because I have a colleague who translates a number of folk tales. I have given the same translated folk tales to some of my professor friends all over India. And the one important question they ask me is, where is Mizo culture reflected? Where is Mizo culture reflected? This is so smooth. The English is so good. But where is the Mizo culture reflected? So I think we one ought to be very careful about that. And then I have helped one. I was, a, I was, a, you know, a supervisor uh, selected in Fielding Institute of. Uh, Fielding in California for a particular, uh, a particular uh, 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 scholar who came and walked for the uh, Muslim women uh, experience uh, during the insurgency. And then even there, when we went to the villages, sp uh, spoke to the, the women folks, we translated whatever they said, as it is. Not, we know how to write it correctly in English, but we translated it as it is. Not in smooth English or grammatical English. Because that gives us the essence of the suffering they go through. So if we, if we have uh, translated that into a very good English, the suffering or the longings of their home would have not been reflected in what they said. So I would like you. I would like to talk about this translation that it is very, very crucial not to just translate it to another language. Good, a good translation without, uh, and it can uh, we can lose the essence of the cultural aspects uh, that I would like to say. Now, when it comes to language, right? Now, as we have heard, Professor Kiamte said, Mizo, according to UNESCO, is an endangered language. I don't believe with UNESCO, <laughs> you know, you must, uh, with UNESCO. <coughs> language, as long as it is spoken by the people, will not die. But in Mizoram, we have a case, for example, Ralte dialect, which is now spoken only in one village, all right, in one village, and people have now waken up and say they need to do, uh, write something in Ralte in order to preserve it. 
With that kind of di dialect or language, preservation is okay. But as long as a language is spoken, it will not die. That is what I want to say. And then another aspect is that language is politics. All right? Language is politics. We have seen a number of ethnic conflicts here in India and our borders. And then there are, uh, in a way, in Mizoram, we are very lucky that people who have come to Mizoram from different parts of India or people who have come down from the east part, eastern part of, you know, from China to the eastern part and settled in, in, uh, in Mizoram are speaking now a common language called Miso, which is very good. Uh, like putting aside their own dialects, which are no longer, uh, which are no longer uh, spoken in so many, uh, in so many places. Now it is politics, and the politics of language is very, very difficult to defeat. That I would like to now uh, late, later on. I'm going to suggest how my my concept of how to promote this uh, languages, the native, etc., etc., later on. And then another thing is that language is dynamic. It is always changing. Now we have a number of changes in Mizo also, from different, even from Hindi, and even in English language also. For example, the Indian tea, chai, right? The English tea, tea. English tea is with milk and uh, mil with milk without sugar. But Indian tea chai is with milk, sugar, and tea, red tea, very strong. But there is no equivalence to Indian uh, chai in English. Now the English have adopted the word chai into their vocabulary. I think we should remember that when we have our own traditional saying and that they, we, we, we must let the others adopt, like uh, the African white buttocks for Britishers, right? And uh, it is dynamic, it is always changing. And then another aspect which is very important is that language is scientific. It is rule governed unless you have an elementary training in linguistics, you cannot even write a descriptive grammar. You cannot write the grammar of Miso copying the grammar of English. You cannot impose the grammar of another language uh, to, to, a, uh, to a language. Because Miso, for example, Hindi, for example, have their own grammar. You cannot impose it. Maybe the common terms like verb, adjective, etc., it's okay. That is now the universal terms. But then it is wrong to impose the grammar of one language to another language. Because every language has its own grammar. And among the language family, Tibetan Burman languages would have similar grammatical grammar <coughs> to a great extent because they only belong to, they belong to one family of language. And it is, uh, it is rule governed and it is not the privilege of anyone or a lame man or anybody to just write about the grammar of language. This, the language board chairman is here. I want to really, really uh, stress on this because not everyone and everybody can write the grammar of a language. They are rule governed. You can write a formula, and once you know how to read the formula, then you can easily guess that, oh, this language is like this. It is scientific, it is rule governed, and nobody can change that because 
the language of human language is like that. So I'm just trying to uh, express words of caution to the language folk, right? Because I have their, I have their uh, aims and objectives here, all of them, all right? And uh, okay, preservation of literature, writing in Mizo, for example, and then documentation, etc., publication, all are good, all are very good of promoting languages, but writing the grammar of a language needs specialization, and you cannot impose English grammar to Mizo language, and you cannot impose English grammar to Hindi language. I have done a Sanskrit course, I have done a Chinese course, and I want to say that uh, uh, there are some people who are from Myanmar also, just as uh, Professor Conte had introduced, I want to caution them a little bit also. Because if you read the, if you read into the history of Myanmar, it was once upon a time the kingdom of Tamils, Tamilians. So what they are using the script now is, they call it Pali. I don't know what Pali is it, but it is like a Tamilian script. What I want to say is that Tamilian, Burmese is a tone language. It belongs to the Tibeto burman family of languages. A script that does not identify a tones in a language cannot be, cannot describe that language adequately. It is wrong to use that script. So if they use Roman script, it would have been very good. Although in Mizo also we don't have a tone marking system as yet, but it's easier to use a Roman script than a Hindi script, for example, which doesn't have anything to do with tones. Okay, so, uh, so that, uh, that I want to talk about that also. And then another thing is that um, when we talk, uh, when we talk about the eight schedule, all right, eight schedule, there are around thirty-eight applicants who wants to be. Uh, who wants a language to be in the eighth schedule? And Miso is one of them. But the criteria for including a language to the eighth schedule is very, very vague. All right? It says one of the vaguest, one most vague criteria that they have given is widespread use of a language. Where do you decide? Where is the deciding factor? How many lakhs of people would have to speak, etc. Whereas Kasi and all are, they're in the eight schedule. What is the criteria for that? So we have to fight more about this and uh, all that if we want Mizo to be in the eight schedule. And then another thing, my problem with the national education policy of 2020, all right? It's good that they talk about promoting <coughs> vernacular language, etc. But I would say that for a situation like India, where I'm going to be very honest about where sectarian feelings are still there, where culture are not being, you know, integrated properly, where you have biases depending on your looks, and where you are located, I have been to the south, I have been to the north, uh, etc. And then when I speak in Hindi, in the South, nobody would respond to me in Hindi. They would respond to me in English, which is which I find it very strange. Right, so 
The sectarian feelings will always be there, but these sectarian feelings are something which we can all defeat. Because, uh, uh, defeat. And then, uh, it's good that Bharatiya Bashar Samelan is there, and then there is an attempt to promote languages or uh, uh, both uh, our respective languages uh, all over India, etc. But at the same time, we need, we still need to have, uh, to to have a very open-minded attitude towards one another, and it brings in politics, it brings in ethnicity, it brings in so many other things. You know, for us in Mizoram also, once upon a time, India was, uh, India's, uh, South India was to us Chennai. Right? We don't know what the, what other uh, states are there. Just as from the Indian point of view, the north is uh, north is a, a sun only. Right? I have been encouraging my students, a lot of them, you know, who are gifted in singing and all that, to sing in Hindi and participate in Indian Idol also. You know, that, uh, those are cultural exchanges that we can promote, as well as promoting languages. So, um, uh, what I have, my, uh, this thing about the national policy is that it recommends using the vernacular from uh, class, uh, from the beginning to up to class eight. Up to class eight, which I believe to several contexts is not desirable. All right? Now what will happen if we started learning and teaching in Mizo from the kindergarten level to class eight in, in Mizo only? What will happen to them later on in terms of job opportunities, right? And as it is, I don't know why India, uh, the Indian education system scrapped Hindi from matriculation. They could have just let it be there without uh, caring only, you know, not marks, but, you know, some grades. That would not decide the factors of failure or success, which would not define, uh, define the factors of failure and success. They should have introduced Hindi till class 12 at least. I don't know why they scrapped it. You know, so I would suggest that, I would suggest that, I, I, I suggest for example, a three-pronged approaches to promotion of languages in India. Although we know that we are very fed up of the colonial English, but today it is still an international language, right? It's a language of knowledge, it's a language of opportunities, etc. And then also we should not forget the importance of Hindi. Now I've been learning a little bit sometimes on YouTube Hindi because uh, so when uh, so one of the uh, guests spoke about, uh, spoke in Hindi, I could understand a little bit, but since I don't have the time so much, I, would, I don't mind learning Hindi again from the beginning even now, right? And then uh, promotion of Hindi, and then the promotion of one vernacular language. That is what I would suggest. But uh, I was a member of the I was a member of the uh, reformed education reformed uh, committee back in uh, some uh, eight years ago. I don't know. And, uh, there are there are uh, special specialists from education from India, and the vice chancellor of our MZD was there, and then um, we have suggested that 
at least mathematics and science should be taught in Mizo, in Mizoram at, uh, at the school level for better understanding. Because what we have found out is that we are not so good in English, we are not so good in Mizo, we are nil in Hindi, right? From, we visited a number of schools in Mizoram and, uh, 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 and then we are not so good in English, we are not so good in Mizo, we are nil in Hindi. So we suggested that important subjects like maths and uh, science should be taught in English, uh, in Mizo. But since we don't have the uh, Mizo equivalence of scientific terms, we said that it should be as it is, and then explanations should be given in Mizo. You know, but that uh, commission's proposal was never uh, or never uh, uh, implemented because of politics, right? So uh, I would say for in for a diversified country like India, we should promote English, promote vernacular language, and promote Hindi. That is what I would suggest. Today, I'm very happy that this organization is taking on this promotion of MISO and uh, 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 that uh, all of us as uh, universities, you know, uh, people who work in university colleges, etc., even students, all right, instead of, instead of imitating the Korean culture, which is very popular in Mizoram today, I would I would ask them to be very Mizo or very Indian, all right? I would ask them to be very Mizo and very Indian because as far as my experience and my travel, my studies goes, all right? I am very Indianized now in terms of cuisines. You know, to a point that I almost don't enjoy miso food anymore. So it is possible to cultivate that. I know from my own actual experiences. I have been to places, I've been to a Brahmin, guests in a Brahmin uh, family. I follow their rules, have my bath before I enter the kitchen, right? Do all kinds of things, you know, and I follow. And we should respect one's, you know, culture and tradition. And then I have no problem with that. And then I don't, even if I travel to all over India, I never stayed in Mizoram houses. You know, I have families where I could go and stay, whether they belong to a different religion or a different belief system or not, I'm very happy with that. And I know that it is possible, you know, to sort of accept one another in terms of culture, in terms of language, and I would still say that when it comes to Bharatiya Bhasha Samelan, I would say a three-pronged approaches must be taken into consideration because of the diversity of India, which I would say the diversity makes India beautiful. Thank you. very much, Madam Professor, for the very thought-provoking presentations. So there are many things that have come into my mind. I don't know how much the students can relate to all the uh, important points that have been highlighted in, in such a short span of time. But just one thing I want to share from Madam's uh, presentation is when she talks about the language, uh, that is, like when she reflects the UNESCO. It is true that these days many people are uh, talking about the fear of uh, uh, that UNESCO is uh, endangered language according to the UNESCO and these things. But there is a practical fear as a mother. I just want to share this as a mother of small, small kids. 
These days, what we have been discussing in the WhatsApp group of the Mizo mother is that our kids are more uh, interested and more comfortable in English, in English language. So slowly they are abandoning the Mizo language. So even my kids, when they play at home, they used to, most of the time, they, they are more familiar with English. They are comfortable with English. So I used to make them no English day. So I have to make them speak in Mizo. So now they are speaking in Mizo. But whenever their friends, small, small kids, below the age of 10, when they come together, when the neighbor kids, two, three, the, from the very welcome address they are giving to each other, they are speaking only in English. So what Madam is saying is very true. Whatever UNESCO is saying might not be true. But the thing is, the, what Madam was quoting is that the, as the language is uh, as the spoken, it will not, as long as the language is spoken, it will not die. But what will be the Mizo language after 10 years, after 20 years, after this generation is gone? Yeah, that is a challenge. Mm. Okay. That is why I want to uh, talk to the students especially. It is their responsibility. They are the future father and mother. So when the kids are more familiar and uh, comfortable with English, after some time will we still have those mm, Mizo youth, Mizo parents who are speaking in Mizo? This is a challenge, just a question which we have to think about. So Madam, just a uh, response to that. I would like to respond to that. Uh, the Mizo children speaking in English with their friends is the impact of COVID. Okay? Uh, uh, because during COVID, there are online classes and everybody has to give their children smartphones because classes are going on. They are not on this. They, uh, they not only speak in English, but they also learn Japanese, Chinese, and Hindi. I know a few children who are very, very good in Hindi by watching Hindi cartoons, right? Now, what will happen to the Mizo language if this goes on? Now, a time will come, I don't know, but language, as I have said, is dynamic. It changes all the time. That is exactly why English has, or old English, middle English, and modern English. And then even in Hindi, you have the Sanskrit, and now we have the modern Hindi. And English hasn't died, Hindi hasn't died, and Mizo will surely have a modern Mizo later on. And uh, we will continue to speak Mizo, I'm sure. And I, I, would, I cannot foresee a time when Mizo will not be spoken here, because if you look at the political situation of our borders, Myanmar, our neighboring state, uh, Manipur, our neighboring country, Bangladesh, you know, more and more Mizo language will be, you know, accepted. Because the ethnic, uh, there, oh, I have a feeling that perhaps, um, there could be uh, ethnic, geopolitical, ethnic changes too, in terms of language, that's what I feel. But in terms of geopolitical changes in territory, I don't believe it. But in terms of geopolitical changes in language, I believe that there is a possibility as of now. Because I'm right now uh, looking at and reading and studying migration, 
you know, history, etc. And there are a number of a number of uh, invasion of languages and enriching one languages through geopolitical shift. So I don't know uh, because even we Mizos are at fault because we want our children to speak fluently in English, right? That's a problem. That's our problem. We so worship the West, right? We 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 so worship the Korean culture. We so worship something that is Western. And I know and I have a number of friends, Indian friends. Who said my mother tongue is English? I used to be very surprised. I said, You don't know Hindi? You don't know speak Tamil? You don't speak Telugu? No, my mother is not. But India is not dying. India is not dying. You know, as long as a, a majority of the language is spoken, you know, it cannot just stop like that. Because all over Mizoram, it is being spoken. If you speak Lai dialect, Lai language, come to the northern part, you have to speak Mizo, right? If you speak Mara, come to oh, the central part of, uh, of Mizoram, you have to speak Mizo. Come from the western part, you have to speak Mizo. So I think uh, 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 maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not wrong, but I think that Mizo would be, speakers would increase with all that is political development that is going on in and around us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Maren. So there will be an interaction here uh, in the later part of the presentation, okay? After all the resource person has presented, there will be some <clears throat> question and answer from the ground also, from the floor. Everybody is requested, ex expected to participate. So whatever you want to ask or share, please note it down so that later when we come to that part, we will have an uh, interaction. So now calling the next presentation from our speaker, we have Pu Arvalian Suala, the chairman of Mizo Language Development Board. Madam moderator, dignitaries, my core resource persons and dear student friends. It's a great privilege for me to be included among the participants of this grand Bhartiya Bhasa Samelan in this IKFI Mizoram Aizol Auditorium today. Let me start with a short history of the development of Mizo subject, as has already been cited by Professor L.T. Kiante a few minutes ago. There are four important distinct years in the development of Mizo subject. First, 1930, the year of matriculation. Second, 1961, the year where Mizo subject was introduced for the first time in colleges post matric. Thirdly, 1997, the year when master degree in Mizo subject was introduced in the then Northeastern Hill University Mizoram campus. And fourth, the functioning of the Mizo language development board last year. It was who are Butchona and as, as some civil service officer who tirelessly tried his best and applied to the Calcutta University Authority to introduce Mizo the then Lucy vernacular subject in matriculation. We know that the Mizo alphabet was started only 130 years ago, probably from April 
1894 by Savitch and Lorraine. So, 1930 minus 1894 is a short span of time. However, the Garo people had already procured their language as a matriculation subject. Although they had only uh, two or three dozen books in their language. Puar Buchwana collected as many as 84 distinct Mizo books in 1929 and submitted the list to the Calcutta University Authority and then they permitted our language to be included among the matriculation subject. After about 30 years, Mizok College students had no alternative than opting alternative English as a major Indian language. A few of them opted Bengali and Hindi also. So, Pujema Soma, who has just completed his 97th birth anniversary this January 9, 2024, who is still alive with us in McDonald Hill, just at the center of the Prince, uh, Chief Minister's Bangla. As Pu Butchwana has tried his best about 30 years ago, Pujemal Soma, our second uh, law graduate among Mizor people, working as an advocate, tried his best to the Gahot University Authority to allow Mizo subject to be introduced in the intermediate classes. So, class 10 students of 1960 who were matriculated in 1961 could start learning Mizo subject from 1961 academic session in arts, science and commerce. Then, Northeastern Hill University was passed, the bill was passed in 1973, from 1984, 74 academic session, it started functioning, and the then formerly colleges affiliated to Goa University were automatically affiliated to Nebu in Mizoram. Only three colleges were there in 1972 when Mizoram was declared Union Territory. So, as time passed by, intermediate was uh, converted into pre-university course. One year pre-university course and three years degree, and then two years pre-university and two years degree courses. But we had no Mizo owners till 1996. The first batch Mizo owners were graduated, of course, in 1996. But they could not continue the master degree. How to do? We were under Nehu Mizoram campus. Four faculty members of Mizo department who were all doctoral degree holders, namely H. Lalu Moana, Lal Zama, Arel Tanmoe, and Lakagatlong and Akiente, tried their utmost best academically, physically, and documentations. And the then Vice Chancellor of Nehu, Professor B. Pakem, could not but resist. On condition that government of Mizoram should contribute the necessary amount for the initial starting of the department. It was on the 12th August 1997 that the first Mizo 
MA class was started through the utmost effort done by Professor L.T. Kiyante. We should give a big tribute to him. Let us clap our hands. Uh, I have seen uh, Dr. Zorabdin Tara, the first batch M.A. Mizo graduate in 1999. So, coming to the evolution of Mizo Language Development Board. It was uh, before 2000 AD that the Mizo Academy of Letters submitted their proposed bill for the foundation of Mizo Language Board by the government of Mizoram. But after 10 years, nothing was done. When uh, the last assembly uh, session was started in 2018, or so to say, 2000, beginning of 2019, the last batch ministry initiated, revived that board bill. And they tried their best uh, for three or uh, nearly four years. Uh, I attained the superintendent annuation pension uh, in the end of uh, February 2022. It was on the 10th of March 2022, on the last day of the budget session, some of you might have recollected that day the then Vice President of India addressed Mizoram Assembly. And in the last part, in the afternoon, post-lunch session of that uh, budget session, among the three bills passed, this Mizoram Language Development Board bill was unanimously passed by the Mizoram Legislative Assembly, initiated by the then Education Minister supported by Congress, ZPM, and BJP. You might uh, have uh, seen the video. The lone BJP member from Tuichon constituency also supported the bill, emphasizing that we need to learn the visual language. I urge the <laughs> authority to come to Chongte and teach us visual language. Dr. Bidi, Sharma, uh, Bidi Chakma expressed his uh, vote of uh, support in that session. So the session was at John Sainadai. Within less than one week, the governor of Mizoram had signed the consent and the bill became an act, Mizoram Language Development Board Act. On 15th March 2022, the printing and stationery department also lost no time in putting the act into black and white, and the Gazette was published on 29th March itself, within the month itself. However, more than one year lapsed during the formation of regulations, rules, and other necessary documents by the Law and Judicial Department, P and AR departments, not only the Education Secretariat. So, in the month of July 2023, on the 14th of July, the first chairman and secretary of the board selection notification was published. It was Friday evening after the office hour was over. Uh, I was privileged to be selected uh, the first to, to occupy the first post of this Mizo Language Development Board. There was the ad hoc chairman, who was the then 
School Education Department Secretary, namely Dr. Nazir Mohit Sangte. I took over the task on the 17th July 2023. Oh, only six months have elapsed. Now we have the secretary selected was an MCS officer who was appointed an assistant returning officer in the coming Mizoram Legislative Assembly election. So in order to join his new post, we have to obtain the <coughs> permission, no objection, from Election Commission of India, which was issued only after two months, not two months, after four months. He joined his post in the, in the middle of November 2023. So, the first sitting was held, the first and the last year now, on 17th November 2023. The composition of the governing body is like this. We have chairman, secretary, two representatives from Mizo Academy of Letters, two representatives from Mizo Writers Association, one representative from Mizoram University, and three ex officios, namely President Mizoram Board of School Education, Directors SCERT and Director Art and Culture Department. Besides these nine members, the government appoints two eminent writers, eminent writers, namely Mr. Bilal Munliana, Mr. Ben Klang and Mr. Lazaz of Akhente, Mr. Ben. Besides these ex officio and appointed members, the chairman is empowered to invite maximum two co-opted persons, out of which one was uh, selected from the president of Miluta, Mizoram Language and Literature and Language Teachers Academy, and another one, Dr. Arzo Thanliena, an assistant professor of Department of Education, Mizoram University, was also invited. So, what to do then? We have three gazetted officers and, till now, nil non-gazetted staff. <laughs> How to do? <laughs> the proposed budget allocation was 65 lakh in salary and one, 65 lakhs in non-salary graduate aid and 100 lakhs in salary aid. But we have about, about only 3 lakhs per month for salary head. Very, very meager amount. And near for the non gazetted staff. We have <laughs> casual staff, typist, and rider. Only two casual staff. Then, among the 65 lakh budgetable allocation, we applied through the finance department and we obtained a huge amount of 5 lakh rupees. <laughs> How to do? That is why I say that. The Mizo Language Development Board is very much in need of having a joint adventure with the Shiksha Sanskriti Utham Niyas, New Delhi today. Let us try our best. Ah, one more thing, I will not take so much time. Language is a very important and the most important tool for communication. I'll tell you one real story. An MNF Ritani was speaking with a non mizo officer in mid-1970s. And that officer asked him, friend, do you know Hindi? 
His reply was, yes, I know a little Hindi, but not for communication. Uh -huh. What do you mean? Yes, I know Hindi a little, but not for communication. What is that? What do you mean? What are the Hindi vocabularies you know? And then he recited. Rekha Chotrapana, Akbar Bharat ke Basa the, Unke Koi Manji the, Birbal Ek Manji the. These are the Hindi vocabularies he, he comprehended. <laughs> Not useful for communication. Those were real Hindi words. What I mean to say is that we have learned languages, our mother languages, our international language that is English, and the national language Hindi in middle schools, high schools, and even after that. In our neighbor, we have Mizoram Hindi Training College. <coughs> Whatever we learn should be useful. Even if we comprehend a number of dozens of vocabularies, but which cannot be utilized, it is useless. Let us try our best to utilize whatever we have learned. With these few words, I conclude my speech. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for the very informative. Uh, uh, he, is, uh, he was my teacher when I was in MBA. Madam is also my teacher in college, so both my teachers are the speaker today. So, Puzwala. I don't know how we could remember all the dates, year, every details. Not only about the literature or the thing about the history, his own history also. So he has a very good memory. His lectures are always very informative. So today also we have seen that the development of Mizo studies, how the Mizo studies have come up to the higher level and then the development of Mizo language board. Thank you very much. Uh, is the video, that thing, the awareness video ready? Because some, some of you are feeling a little sleepy, little bit down after the two lectures. In play, take the air. Control the economy. Under the table, under the table, under the table, so we saw the ring say, oh, Dr. Zoram Din Thara, I had to come in now to say, Dr. Zoram Din Thara, I see you in the back, please come to the front. My colleague from Mizoram University, he will be presenting in the after, afternoon session. Dr. Zoram Din Thara. In play, he had to have video card. Presentation. Our third presentation for this session is we have Krishna Kant Tripathi. He is from the Department of Education, Mizoram University. So after his presentation, please get ready with the video awareness show. So we will continue with that. So, yes. Okay. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Ifai University Mizoram, respected Chief Guest, respected Panusiri Bukhyante, Madam Ruth, PDT, Uzala, Professor Sandeep, and all the dignitaries, participants, and students. A very good afternoon. Namaste, Chivai. Uh, now may I talk in Tamil? That's happening in our schools in Mizoram. I will not define language here, but for a student, I would like to say 
that language is our identity. You might have listened that language is something which used for communication that can be defined by any layman. But it's not only medium of communication, it is determine our thinking. If you say yourself Mijo, it is because of your language Mijo. If I say Hindi, I don't know whether I am Hindi or something else because my language is extinct language which is hardly known by Hindi professors called Kannoji. My grandmother was speaking in Kannoji and my friends were surprised to know that uh, what kind of Hindi I am speaking. My mother shifted to Khadi Boli, I am totally in Khadi Boli now. So languages are growing, developing and dying. This is and at the time of freedom movement in North India, we were opposing English language and we are opposing Hindi language. And that was not a threat to Hindi language that time. But my friend, I have data from different states like Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh. If you are interested, I can share with you. Schools are converted from Hindi medium to English medium. It is surprising. In recently, in 2020, or 1920, 1500 schools in UP were converted. Around 400 schools converted in Rajasthan. For my surprise, that Rajasthan government running English medium school in the title Mahatma Gandhi English medium school. Mahatma Gandhi might be very painful because it was against his ideology of basic education which was emphasizing on mother tongue medium education. One more surprise from Chhattisgarh, Sant Atmanand English Medium School. As far as I know about the ideology of Ramakrishna Mission and ideology of Vivekanandji, it cannot be possible that Sant Atma Ram propagated English medium education. And whatever will be your status, you may be Prime Minister of England, you may be President of USA. It is research proof that based thought will come in major language only. When you understand well in Mizo, when you think in Mizo, then why, how you are learning in English language, I don't know. Mizoram, we have respected member of Mizoram Education Commission here. In 2010, Mizoram Education Commission recommended that primary education should be in major medium. And if teachers are ready to teach in English medium, then we can permit, word permit is there, we can permit to run English medium from class 6, but till the year 2017, we have converted 144 school from major medium to English medium in whole Mizoram. And it was a letter from the directorate. I, I saw that I have that copy that all schools middle schools should be started from English medium from the session 2017. That could not happen. But if uh, the year we were having 39% major medium and 60% uh, 39% English medium, 61% English, uh, sorry English, 39% uh, English medium and 61% major medium in 2012-13. And 15-16, I have data of every year, but I will not give the data. 45% uh, major medium and 55% English, uh, sorry, 45% English medium and 
55 percent major medium in 2015 16 and as per the trend of data i infer that we have more english medium school in mizoram than major medium and it is well proved that when child comes to class 1 that child is well versed to understand and say any complex thing in the mother tongue and we just put that mother tongue knowledge into the dustbin and it is hampering our understanding of subject we have put a lot of emphasis on development of science education and mathematics education in Mizoram and whole India but we are not getting benefit because our language education is very poor our language education is very poor and you can understand by the result of Mijo youth in national level examination I believe that it might be better in the last generation of Ukhyante if as you know that NEP tutority support that mother tongue medium education it before NEP it was a right to education act which gave a right to children that uh, they have right to learn in their mother tongue it's a illegal thing to have a primary school in English medium that thing is not understood it's a kind of policy uh, what I say it's a reality something from rhetoric we have lack of sensibility in this area we are torturing our kids by talking them in English language it's a mental load we are increasing that thing hardly we understand as a teacher in the school and one thing you will find common in all three policy which government of India published till now from 1968, 1986 and 2020 three language formula earlier it was started for national integration but from 2005 uh, that's a year I mentioned because of NCF 2005 we have recognition that more languages more knowledge and if I know four languages I have four way of thinking if my children are learning five languages that's why NEP 2020 accept three language formula and with flexibility to learn more than three languages and it was also proposed by Kothari Commission but what is the seriousness of adoption and implementation of three language formula I have been associated with a very huge research work on Hindi, status of Hindi language in Mizoram 7.4% teachers they accepted in self reporting form that they cannot speak in Hindi language 2.5% teacher except if they cannot read and write in Hindi language you can say it's very small data but it is 100% population of one school in one school where we have only one Hindi teacher if he or she is not able to read write and speak in Hindi what will be the status of students in Hindi language Madam Dikhi raised the issue and concern for learning of Hindi and its need moreover at the motivation level when it was tested among students how much you are motivated all students were average motivated or highly motivated even rural students also were highly motivated than urban students to learn Hindi but teachers are not capable books of published by SCRT in Hindi are not suitable and full of spelling mistakes and that thing was reported it's the sincerity of SCRT they have corrected all spelling mistakes but designing of content is required again it is need to they should have a new committee of book development so that appropriate book for Hindi language can be developed no doubt English is I'm teacher educator to prepare English teacher teacher of English language but still I want to say that English is not a status and I started a research under my supervision 
in 2017 that what is why english medium is demanded in that parents are saying that english medium more schools should be english medium but another question they are saying students learn better in majority so it's kind of confusion among public and i do not blame anybody or government government to decide on the public pressure public demand but if we can have good quality teacher of english language who can develop english as a subject not as a medium or culture or status then that purpose can be served in european countries also we it is theory that if we expose a language for all subject that language will be better if i teach social science in english medium english will be better if i teach social science hindi medium that's a philosophy of language across the curriculum but what they are doing they are in developed country they change only for two subject whole school is not changing and in india students are fine for speaking in mother tongue it's a kind of uh, lack of freedom or lack of dependence they are totally illegal in that case even you are uh, authorized means you can fine for speaking major language in a school who authorize you everybody cannot collect the fine if somebody going without a helmet can i find that person there are some department to do that so i used to sense that my student if your headmaster says to charge fine you should say sir do yourself it's not it's against professional ethics of teacher so it's happening three language formula has been failed in all the states i mean it's quite visible that tamil nadu till now they don't have a seal a school for hindi language though who oppose their children are studying in hindi language but navodaya vidyalayas are not existing in tamil nadu till now and those schools for poor students good output better performance in national level examinations so kendri vidyalaya are generally situated in the military camp or central universities so i don't know about that but navodaya vidyalaya are not existing in tamil nadu because those are for rural students and one more contradiction or surprise i would like to report here three language formula was decided in 1961 in the meeting of chief ministers not by central government or any other agency imposed that chief ministers of different state decided to have three language formula when it become the national policy nobody seriously taken i am not saying about tamil nadu in uttar pradesh or other hindi states south indian languages are not taught my third language was sanskrit so what was the first purpose of national integration that has not been achieved and now i speak here i talk with you just to make aware that if students of mizoram learn hindi well learn english well that will certainly increase the achievement of students in all the discipline that's the focus of my talk and what i reported about hindi language students as per the parameter of state government most of the students are failing a class 8 students are failing in hindi test which were based on class 7 book so status of languages are not good so how can they understand science and mathematics thank you thank you very much sir that was a very thought provoking uh, message should i say for about the education system in mizoram the importance of the uh, three language yeah those things uh, so i got a message from outside that lunch is ready but we are not ready <laughs> so still we have uh, one more important program that is interact interaction is there uh,
uh, that video video presentation will be done in the next session. So that is why. So as I open the interaction sessions, I would like to request Puesh uh, Darin Omar and Professor Sanjay. Yeah, I know. Just uh, two, three minutes or so uh, from the floor. Okay. So I request uh, firstly Professor Sanjay to say a few words, and then we will call Puesh Darin Omar. सम्मानित मंच मित्रों अनचाह वक्ता हूँ इस सत्र में मैं नहीं था हिंदी में आपसे बात करना चाहता हूँ पर यह भी जानता हूँ कि 10 प्रतिशत से ज़्यादा लोग हिंदी शायद ना समझ पाए इसलिए दो बातें कहनी थी वो कहूँगा सो रिस्पेक्टेड डायस एंड अगस्त गेदरिंग आई वॉन्ट टू से ओनली टू थिंग्स First, everybody loves their mother. Like that, everybody should love their mother tongue and motherland. As per the UNESCO report, about 35% of the language of the world are in danger. Out of 200 languages of the Northeast India, more than 30 languages are in danger. Some old dialects of Mizoram, like Tulihan, Poi, Ralte, Mar, are in danger condition. So, please love and speak your mother tongue. Promote and protect your mother tongue. Second, second, the heart of the India vibrate. in hindi if you want to feel and make relation with the country please learn hindi at least communicative hindi thank you for giving me a chance to express my feeling here thank you thank you to deliver a uh, make a lengthy speech uh, i want to say a very very short for learner that's why i will use uh, mizo language if possible uh before uh, i speak in mizo i want to uh, share a little historical background uh, before uh, partition of myanmar Uh, from British India, the Indian government in 1935, Myanmar, Pakistan, these region were within British Empire. That's why Chin Hills and Mizoram are uh, as a whole. People can travel. This culture, tradition, all these things are as a one. That's why today, what I want to say is. how mizo language develop and uh, like folk tale folk song this develop but i will say rather in mizo because of lack of time uh, that's why please do understand me zero la de tan sa to ma su po sa ko ma hi re la tan la to a mizo ni ta so me na i to na po ha kan ma dam hai kan कन्हौ तो नू पर खाने मिजो न सही लगतिया बोला कनती ही कनसे छो इन प्याल राम राम रिन ना ने नै नंगने आ इन जुई ततने छो वा छुआ बोला अलो छुआ हु लाही छिन हिल्स अनिया बोला कनती रे रे ना चन अतम डरा लाय तो मतमने छो भाई जई मंग जई था हंती ते मिजोरमा 
kê cho hôn rê tạc dơ nà trạc ca rạc ta lô ôm mà à hê cho hào khá trông hà nì hê cho phá lạp trông hà nì tì khá ká khá chiếm ta nì chê khá yếm dì ngạ lai nù nà bà khát ká bù à kô tông bò thê mà lai tông bò khá nù khá trăng kai bó tăng bò lai dì khô nà chú vã yên bò lạ tê lạc đô kô nà tì yí chôn bò chông tì mê ám mù xít nắng nè lên à tăm bê mê mê nì chú chú bán mà lô ôm tò tê Kham hu kom to chuan kan khe chen ni. Tin professor lal ruang a khan a zia ka piyu kan zi lai po khan chen ta kina zia ka ni. Tin la leng loong kan an tia te kot la rung leng ta han ti ju a structure hi lu say chong a ren fit an ni a. Zong ngat lap chong dang ni a tel ve to ni en tin na suang lung han tia te ju mi zo pai te chong te a lu ni a. Tiếng nước khác cần xây tụi hoa Thì nó kinh Các xây tụng tất cả chữ Dấu ngạt lạc Trông đã ngày hi Sẽ đi tên ta ưu lạc Mì dấu nó thiền khắc ôn bì kênh Cần tì tụi nì Tiếng mà rá cái nàng tì tê Chăm bua cái nàng tì tê Đòi rá cái nàng tì chôn Mà trông nhạc lô tầm bì kết bê mê nì Chúng tê chú anh ấy vàng chôn Tù lai khó về là chôn Mì dấu trông nhị Mà á xôn dễ là Mì dốt trong mong ý sẽ tích sĩ ca ảnh hưởng lạc chân mặc tốt tối khẩn đông ảnh hưởng tốt này Miền mà là bọt ta hát lệ chế về lạc chân Văn lạc về lạc Mì dốt trong chú quản mong ý Cho nên mì dốt trong ý ảnh thăng dễ lạc ảnh đi phép lạc dễ lạc Dốt ngạc trạc trông khá ý ảnh sinh lưu tình ý Ảnh tỏ bất ảnh tàn ảnh hưởng ảnh em xe ảnh sẽ lưu ngay ảnh tỏ Với nghĩa mì dốt trong ảnh mong bố ý Dẫu ngã lạc trong tấm tật nền anh bảo sống tốt này Hãy lưu xây trong hồ đi dân chữ Cả u nào bà ta hiện là năm mà Giang A, Giang E Thế anh nói thế này Các tình là vì Thế Vâng hút làm đúng thế chí nên xanh cả chờ Khám trúc cả năm mà Bỏ bỏ nè Ây ê ê hẳn tiền thế Vâng Xây thúy là bằng Chúng chữ ả lạc ông ấy Khám trúc bỏ ra cái trông bỏ Mới dấu ra mà ả lạc ông ấy thì khá ไอ้เขียงก็จมกันปุ๊บก็จมปล่อยงอนปิ้งคู่กับเขียงเราเมื่อเนี้ยชุดชุดเห็นตะปล่อยเต็มเต็มหุ่มเห็นตีอัฐานี่อ่ะก็รำตีกิมโอกราซีรำตาเสละจงนาทักจงสิสักรำตีอัฐีไม้อ่ะปุ๊บลงเตะเตียนหุ่มมาเสียอันนั้นใช่เฮ้ยกันปุ๊บว่าละเตะเฮาตีอย่างปิดกันกันสวยด้วยหันกลับไปเดินชุดกระซากเรียวนะเรียวแต่จามตัวเนี่ยตีตีตัวเราไม่สวย Lain ni cina hal kanu teh kan, kau kau main han han di teh se, kau tu makan biak sah sah teh kan, madam ni. Oh, hatta ikhwal ya nazira. Ti lain tu le, lain zau hitlem ni tengah. Hela makan biak se biak se biak se sang lewa. Lain zau tu su lusi tu le, ada dewa. Kau kau boleh na ya. Hàng xây rào về đây là lúc các cháu nhiều năm mà sẽ Các thủ tộc này, à cháu cho ngồi thầy hí phim ra nha Xây thêm hí, rốt quý ra nha để bố con nha Cảm ơn các bạn Các bạn xây dụng tiêu chí tù là tầm đơn lẽ mấy tựa rồi Phóng xong, các bạn xây dụng tiêu chí tù là tầm đơn lẽ mấy tựa rồi Just one more request from the respected Vice Chancellor uh, may I request uh, one lady from Chakma? I don't get her name. Jamuna Chakma. Okay. So the Vice Chancellor has requested her to say a few words.
सबसे पहले मैं अपना थोड़ा परिचय देना चाहूँगी मेरा नाम है जमुना चकपा मैं चौंकते से आई हूँ मैं हिंदी टीचर हूँ और ज़्यादातर मेरा फोकस हिंदी सब्जेक्ट में रहा है इसलिए मैं बात अपनी बात जो है हिंदी भाषा में ही कहना चाहूँगी <coughs> चूँकि आज का जो प्रोग्राम है वो भाषा को लेकर हो रहा है तो मैं अपने चारपा भाषा के बारे में कुछ आप लोगों को कर, कर, के साथ शेयर करना चाहूँगी चकमा भाषा का प्रयोग सबसे पहले आदि गुरु निरंजनी ने किया था तो इसके बाद ये लगभग एक सेंचुरी सी सी में हुआ था शायद लेकिन हमारे पास इसका कोई प्रमाण पत्र नहीं है क्योंकि उस वक्त इस तरह के शायद कुछ थे नहीं बड़े बड़े लोग जो इन सभी किताबों को या वो कलेक्शन कर सके इसलिए ये बस सुना हुआ है और इसके बाद और पुराने ज़माने में जो आयुर्वेदिक वैद्य होते थे या मोन्स होते थे उन लोगों ने चकमा भाषा को रखा लेकिन आ, कहा जाता है कि जब ऐसे ऐसे बड़े लोगों का ध्यान हो जाता है तो उनके साथ साथ उनकी सारी किताबें किताबें जो है वो जलाया जाता है एक तो पानी में बहाया जाता है तो इस वजह से भी मतलब इतना जिस तरह से बहुत सारे दूसरे भाषाओं के लोगों को लोगों के जो भाषाएँ हैं डेवलप होते आ रहा है हमारी जो चापा भाषा है वो इतना डेवलप नहीं हो पाया है <coughs> तो चकमा भाषा का जो पवित्र ग्रंथ है वो आगर तरह है जिसे तार के पत्तों से मतलब उस वक्त तक कागज नहीं था तो तार के पत्तों में लिखा गया था और मैं ज़्यादा लंबा नहीं करूँगी अपनी बातें बहुत सारे चकमा भाषा में भी लंबी लंबी कविताएं हैं जैसे कि गोजन लामा जिसे शिव शिवचराना ने रचना किया था फिर इसके बाद बहुत सारे मंत्रास वॉल्यूम ऑफ मंत्रास थाली मानव कल्पा वायु कल्पा नारी कल्पा चंद्र कवि इस तरह के बहुत सारे चीज़ें जो है वो बांग्ला भाषा और अंग्रेजी भाषा में उपलब्ध है क्योंकि उस वक्त चाकमा भाषा इतना डेवलप नहीं हो पाया था तो ज़्यादातर हमारे जो जवान लड़के थे तो वो ज़्यादातर बांग्ला भाषा और अंग्रेजी भाषा को ही चूज करते थे फिर इसके बाद सीएडीसी में तकरीबन 1994 के दौरान वहाँ के जो सीएडीसी सरकार है उन्होंने सोचा इस बारे में क्योंकि हमारे बहुत सारे जो जवान हैं जो पढ़े लिखे लोग हैं अपनी मातृभाषा को छोड़कर दूसरी भाषा को अपना रहे हैं तो इसलिए उन्होंने सोचा कि सी में कक्षा एक से लेकर कक्षा पाँच तक अपनी भाषा जो चकमा भाषा है उसको अनिवार्य करवा दिया जाए तो उसके बाद उन्होंने मिस्टर लक्ष्मी भूषण चकमा जो वहाँ के आर्ट एंड कल्चरल के डिपार्टमेंट के हेड है तो उन्होंने उनको रिक्वेस्ट किया कि वो इस तरह के कुछ किताब लिख ले जहाँ मतलब उस किताब को बच्चों के स्कूलों में जाकर पढ़ाया जा सके तो उन्होंने एक किताब लिखा जिसका नाम है सामार गौतम होती मतलब उस किताब का शीर्षक का नाम है तो इस तरह से 1996 तक आते आते मिडिल स्कूलों में भी पढ़ाया जाने लगा वही चकमा भाषा के किताबें छोटी छोटी बनाए जाने लगी लेकिन इतना डेवलप नहीं हो पाया क्योंकि हमारे पास उस वक्त सॉफ्टवेयर नहीं था कक्षा में जो शिक्षक थे वो ब्लैक बोर्ड में श्यामपट पर हाथों से लिखकर प्रश्न हाथों से बनाकर कक्षा में पढ़ाते थे परीक्षा के दौरान प्रश्न पत्र बनाया जाता था लेकिन अभी 2017 में मिस्टर सुजय चकमा और मिस्टर जयंती चकमा ये दो लोगों ने मिलकर एक सॉफ्टवेयर बनाया <coughs> तो जिसकी वजह से आज हमारे सी सी एरिया में जितने सारे चकमा भाषा की किताबें हैं प्रश्न पत्र है वो सभी चकमा भाषा मतलब सॉफ्टवेयर के मदद से ही लिखा जा रहा है तो धीरे धीरे तो विकास होता जा रहा है लेकिन हम दूसरों से बहुत पीछे हैं अब तक तो अभी तक हमारा जो चकमा भाषा है वो भारतीय संविधान में या भारतीय भाषा के रूप में उसको स्वीकार नहीं किया गया है लेकिन मैं आशा करती हूँ कि भविष्य में इसको स्वीकार किया जाए तो मुझे अपनी बात इस पंथ में रखने के लिए बहुत बहुत आप लोगों का धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच मैडम शी इज़ अ हिंदी टीचर अमंग द चकमा इन द चकमा मीडियम Thank you for sharing the Chakma education system and the schooling the Chakma uh, 
community, the education system of the campus. So anyone from the floor, especially I want to open this for a question, especially among the students from the speaker side, any response or any questions, clarification you need. Zero lai lama trang khan hai kan mithyang te eka mazo du in nei zwa kaka u yong ka tiyang mi hun ka he tiyang hi in ba kan an chok le ngoi mai doan lawa in zir tir tu te tiyang zo du in nei yang mi zo lang bish tung sa ha te mo ni lo kon me ngamo an tu so ya trang te khan reaction in nei yang ok I have I have announced that lunch is ready, no, that, that is why, maybe that is the reason that it's been holding them, no? Hello, I'm going to go to the room, 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 I will just say a few words in Mizo, because most of you are using your mother tongue. So, I'm going to go to the room, I'm going to go to the room, Kan platform dia kan soi ni awei sale, angai koi mo sa buat buat bula dia ada ni lecik la, akal kau mesti lain lain lah, tetapi kalau mana dalam trong, soi sal, tetapi soi nanti apa yang mo sia, asyik ni asyik ni kan asyik china, mai rosu kuda tu tu kan ni dia asyik la, ni cina kan soi yang kan kiri ni hau tuan, aral mai itu nak kan kiri tuan, nak kan ring la, ni mai teh, masa nak kita asyik Kan kah teh ya minna deh mang, kat ini kan tu le, pah teh kah teh kah min lau sih lau ti, minna deh mang teh dia lau. Nam dang sah prama pasal ni, dia kah teh jom antiam lau kan dia eh eh mang, kan zai tiam lau, tapi kau misal nu pah pun dah London om kah teh jom antiam lau, tapi kan kan dia luai luai, am misal rama om nu le, pah teh ya kan kah teh misal jom antiam ini, an mang ini, kan gay tu aja mang tu kah kah ni, kat dia kan kan gay tak suh ya, kan jom ni aral dia zel ni. So with that, we have come to the conclusion of this program. And as I have said, lunch is served. So the guests and the invited, uh, the invitees will first get their lunch. After that, followed by the students. And we have a felicitation of uh, the speakers, I, I guess. May I request Rerwat Puya to do the honor. Okay. Uh, may I request our respected vice chancellor to come on. Professor Lalkuru, may I be here today? Thank you. 
Rothbier. Okay, thank you for Rothbier and the ashes. So, thank you everyone for your cooperations and thanks to our respected uh, resource persons. And thank you everyone. After lunch, we will meet here again with after a half an hour. Okay, so lunch is served outside. Please uh, feel free to have the lunch. It's next door, it seems. Next room. Next room. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you. Minzong mo ko, pagka tingnan kili na ipailong niya.
chẳng có đây dễ nhất đó thì ăn cái đầu xe mua không có chắc có gì à à ạ thì thấy đâu mình sao Tiên mô xài
Thank you. 
Lút khom, lút khom xuống xuống hoàng hồ Bốt lập vào hộp tất cả Ồ Chắc là sắp tất cả cùng các bạn bố 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 Chúng ta có cô về ổn Ồ, xong rồi nó xong tùm quần nhìn vấn đề ra Tùm rồi gây lại thủ đô Ồ, em về sạch chết không? Rồi lưu tiêu dùng dùng tiêu Rồi tôi là các cô về ổn
Minsu, Dalkamora, four semester, Mizo department, and yeah. Matrum, Mizo to win, Colonel, Sierdona, Matrum Biki, request and yeah. I must, Matrum Hika, the pastors of Donani. A Mizo to hear, tape and so if you are. Shrinks and soon lay low day at Bin, the Gin Lane, Chin, Mila, soon lay low day, and I lay my chin. She and Chaten and two out and China. Vancua let soon go at Bin, the dark and Sena Monte. So the Puile are seen where Perkul and Zain, Nilezan, Mountain, Maila, Bampal and into a lake and Nile Chin, a covet his own intent to ring than in Toma, in Tom to ring and in Chen Lechi, so to an aging non Zu. Do not have a drink that on Sierra Donne. Shing non San Su, meet Capcarso, soon so naughty young Abo will not, Manga Lundi Tai Chen Naram, but more young in Vula to Ilat Nun. Vang Lai Chena, Nen Ku Pama, Hello, then rule it highly too late China. So Tabuile, Sia Ring in Asun, Run Moya, So Kim Tia and Dalang Elena, Tangundur, Vang Kusum to Loydu, the Lane now Han, Per Kun Soya Zaya, I mean, Suni Le Zanku, Vuilimin, Intending I in in Intending in Ancient of Luck, to join it, she knows you. Do not have his own tongue, Papa Zoki, Sia Le Donne. Can be can poo, mark a song, mirror shot. Mean tattoo, Michal Hoysen, no lumina moitin. Sing ram, life a joy from Valedo Sikara, Michal Sahang, Dona, Dole Ralda, Ram Saya, Ram Led Nam, Sanduval, Tom Tom Parting Serp San Main, Pounder each more might. Kate Sue Cassette Saledora. เสียทีอ่ะหมู่วาดป่วยวงเล็กขาลตู่ซ่องตินเลเรียรุนบัวเนลควรดวนหุยวาเรียกโมเลเร่งซังคิวเต็นไซน์สักนะโรเมซามซ
kathin laya ero izu leng ba azam nove rin um naru na lengin der thiam va la ten lo bung lun se su se do thu leng min tiam lo la fa nao mal tuan zoi xing nun kan siam re ling ru ma kan la leng mun o me ton lo ti nga ya ka cha na ru nuam hi zoi lo leng an zong moi hua ni ik fa i ti an ko ke nin du la i ti a kan au lung du na vang kan lo na ru nuam ma dung tlang len sa lang tuang a a ting li ro ye ren bong ngin ngin i ru na thiam zir leng zong ten bel lai kan ning long che him lai par ba khoi e nga kan don na nang zong rai ra le lian chung trang kha ta min pom tu pial ra ru nu ma hi i he ko me kum sul ve in thaleng ruwa nga tuai thar le anga ke ni zong nun hlui ye nga zamual kan liam huni ton mang iang ngin min hil mai su la thiam na le fin na i hlan len ru zong te hian kum sul zamual vo i tam liam ma se ru nu ang te ni sak ming kan choi bang lo nge du lai ik fa ka lo me อ่าเอ่อชมบอกไหมที่จอดซาโซระบาดกันซ้อมเลยโอ้โหก็สอยกตัวจุดตั้งตั้งผมเลยว่าอันตัวนี้ปวดใส่ตาในเอเนียอี
Bangin, and we keep Zalena can write any Dean and Switch in any. So, I'm so in the Tina, a pity kite can a keep a keep for Hanavan, so he's up to a can be a put drunk at Hook and so he take a pen put drunk and Monty he can write, can Zalena and the young. Then, Professor Lazong and a Kim, then so he fought Tina, it is media. Mizau Chong Hang, anda ni soi ti, anda ni fine ti, ni tehi apa ye? Emel ni ti tu itu pun soi tau china. Eng pun ni sila, tu faham tu anda ni mi ina apa pin pui Chong, apa Chong mas pin mas sak per ti, mas sak perak Chong apa ni? Eng mungkin kan saya ni nak ani ti ini an soi bok ani. Atau leh tu anda ni resource zip nak cangah zip pin nak buang cangah ani buat soi tau tu anda ni. Kami kan pian pui chong dia kan lau soi chin mother language semua mother tang pemo dia kan soi chin ni. Mungkin teh nak leka kan sih nak ata nak kan ni nak tu kan tiap tak tak nak hil suak tu pui mo asa berani ni. Tien an soi chin nak tu tu eh an soi chin dah nak tu ni enti nak man pui mo tak pakar tu. China le Japan ni Japan ni sama je kuat sendiri le pemain dok pui pandi ni. Asop cepekah. Jadi asal cemek kan, jadi asal ini jangan anda terlepas. An an mal ni jangan tunai kopel tiem na. Asal cuma teknologi education dia kan yang tiem semua kan. Zaman jang fikir nak cerita kan. Jadi asal ini pol tum ah pol tum tu pol som tu ni. Anak betak tak asal ini radio siam. Hebi tak beli kau dah apa ibu lai? Lai ni ni akhir ni cuma ya April han. Ritu anti China di sini cumi hanti, tapi faham zahir tu berlai, tapi pokok acip dia di sini, tapi pokok sahulong di sini sel af ni ni, atau boom anti itu, kat yang sih tapi pokok posong sih lai kan, anda perlu i lalu ni tadi, jauh jauh kat sot sot lai sama sahkan, zaman ramah kal ngai tak hatka, kat sot a, kat hatak tak ni em, kat dia kat sot a kipun, kan sih ramah anti ya, jauh jauh kat sot sana jauh. Zaman lalu zaman anda ni cungin, anda pilih pun cungin teknologi hal tilhar tu harzong zonga anzira anbena angkita anbena alu tangen tangen antuogin kaka alu mangkita tu sesiang bingkai memang ni tu anda pilih pun cunga kovel finna tiemna anzira tak tak zaman zaman kali tiemna tak tak anda pun suka zaman siang zaman siang lalu ni tapi mai ni. Di zaman ini, jadi yang dia zaman saya nak pohian, an mana itu orang yang mandiri yang til, hebi matematik, sains, hati te, til harus orang so komputer, til orang so hebi mandiri ini anjir ve, ane. Jadi zaman ini dia rasa research, demi tena binti yang tena lau zir ping na atanga alam dah nak kelai ha, eh til tak tak tiap nan le kan gay tua tak tak zuk sor suanan kan pin pui jonga. Til kan sih masa ke apa yang mohon ni, anti ni, cuci eh, mesti yang terang soi cinta, lau cinta ni. Atau lihat siapa ni, kau bela dia ni, eh, hehe, afik dari dikcil, mai tu kau bela dia ni, trong 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 sang sering vel, omin, omin anai ah, amero cuci, cuci lah ya siapa ni, kau bela dia ni, cium sang sering sih, atau misa sum libel cuci dia ni, ini sih nak tipu tipu kau dah mesti tahu. An ma ni chong, an pian pui chong, an ma da lai ngui xian ti lan zi ni. An ti ya mi zhou ma po, so tum pa tum ve na ma zhou ka, a ti an ka kan lo ni ta a. En po ni xe la, hei xie ni na en ti la zhou, ko ve la xian tiem le tiem lo va, a nam pui chong zo, ti mai la, sa po yi na min o be na rin ru, ve ma ni la be reng a va ma sa chong ngai na na, sa chong ngai sa na hi la be lian e, e ma ya. Ti zhou an tiem le tiem lo lo vin, Aing ni sebidi yang makan dan kala di suarin entinan cerita perkhidmatan cerita matematik cerita cerita hehe apa kumni se uai apa kumni se zeti apa apa kumni se di suarin antia kan sud suarin ha let the ace of his father be x kan antia let the ace of his son will be y therefore kan antia dek ha eh acian dek tu ilah boleh so I saw an end up up with me why they say for part X they say and when it will come to X why don't you mind now they can see you think they have a they can lose your title and you shouldn't be able to do it to want to want him cover like he had in south of his wedding and mother tongue and be a new job and boy to the world where I just watching that I wanted develop countries and did it and I'm developed yes I didn't know I'm trying to run for the time on low trying to hold on to get a bit of hope hope here I get it 
in zaton saka in tiam puyen ke po rubina hian e kumela hian thil pani in tiam kan ya pakhachu bible sia chu ania pakhachu hindi thiam ani hindi spoken a kalu don ka le ya chu kan suam je zaw ka chu e nge ni e india tong khom pui kan ti hian mi zaw tong zaw ki thiam ang kan ti na lawani lo nam dang tong kang nge ni tong khang khang a de po kha kan in za ton sa kha chuwi kan in za ton sa nu a chuan in a sa tong chuan ti hian an ti ni connecting connecting people with their language an ti ni tu chu mi khin kan in po na rem cha be ka kha chu tong kan in thiam ton sa ki ho na hian mi zo tong hi thiam be kan kan ti ro lian kang zo na tha tong khang khang te ka i the ngi na mu i kal sam te ka mu kan ti na ni lo he ta mara la kan ti te pai te lus kha zo zo ka in nge ni i kal sa na mu kan ti na la ma ni lo kan in za ton sa ka hi india ram kan in pum khat na tur ni ma han ma kan ti te nan soi to a a india ram i pang par bon moi tak ama ni ya an ti te kha ala ti re nga chu chu tu na yen central sarkar yen new education policy tha ra yen chu 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 mai to na sor nom tha ra ni ti kha na tang pui e kan soi le ala ti kha ni a to le chu ni soi zo tek pe mi ni so pa ga soi ya ka tia a to le chu ni e pian pui chong kan ti hi e ang ta ka poi mo nge e va ma he ti ang ma india ram so ka rin boi pui fo nge na sa ta ka kal pui ni nge sum le pai tam tak seng ta ani e sum le pai tam tak seng na lo tul ta ti hi voi na yen kan ngai tu na om tu ra ka du chu ani ya ni chi na kan soi to khan kho ve la hian ni cha mi chong tu na kan program he a pathian thu kho maya pathian thu jaw he ti hian tok ma kan soi la iso krista kha kho ve la ron kan lai khan e eng chong ye man aramai chong pa ngani aramai chong ho chu ka ti hun lai a zu ta ho chong ani ya iso kha ni ti chong hi a thinge mai in kal sa ri thinge mai ti la ba ni aramai chong kha a ron bang ve mai ni ti kha bible zir mi ti an soi ta ani ya tin boi the ga mi a mi no pui na kan thia tin dan po ani ya chu mi na en ti ra chu mi zo chong kan thia ni mi zo chong thia tak chu ma christian christian kan ni hi i su a du da ni pa thian du da po ni ti boi na kan thia ta ngai ni sa chong sa chong thia tak mi na om chot ka en hu a mi zo chong thia tak ka ro chu kan ngai sa ma ho lo ma se a pa thian thu lem do ni ti kan thia ta ngai ni sap tong kan mo sit kan ngai sang lo na ma ni lo kan mi zo mi zo min ni ti tu a chu e mi zo tong hi tu na yen mi zo tong thi a ne la bi la a sap tong ni ni thu ji a ki la mi na min soi da tu a chu mi zo writing in english ani do na ni indian writing in english kan ti a chi kan ni do na ni kan ni da tu le nam dang po na mi ran mu da tu chu a ni chu bang chu a ni e sap tong kan thi a chu ro tong sap tong kan thi a me me am tho bang a me ro chu sap tong ai kan thi a me kan ai poi mo zo tu le kan tu chuan theng po kan in lan chon zel tu ro chu kan chong kan in kan chong kan in kan thiam zel hi ni eng wang in nge e pa thien in ai puk nge pa thien in israel pa de a hem fo thin kum som li ve ze a nai te kan a ram lu tu ro kum som li ve ze nai te a huai ko la huai ko kan ti chu ani pa thien in a chu min pa thien in chu min a du wa ani chu min a du wa ani kan ti chan zo a chu an culture an identity pa thien pa thien the in ran om a piang kha na hem thi ani an ni na an lau do na piang kha na hem thi ani a tu ani kha a ho na te ho ni mo kha e mi lim lo sie tu kha an ni te ho thop tho te ka tu lai he ka mo ka tu lai ka mo da ni chu ani in ti chang ka mi zo chong thiam ka du mong lo ang me la kan ngai si na a mo si a tu song pe kan lak chung dai lo te te kha de ko te ro kan lo re mun ni te ro ran ka chak ngam mo ti mi lim te ro ti pual ve ni di kha ni chu bang chu ni kha ka pa thin hu zo ta ka ni bo ni da yan kan culture kan identity lo zo a kan chong lo zo a ma so kan tu ma ni hi chu ni pa thin hu zo ta ka ni ti su ti hi bo ni kan so no na ni chu bang chu ni patian pat patian tu oi kan ni don chuan kan culture kan identity kan chong kan thian bi kan ti nge nei tu ran ni kan culture le kan identity kan identity lo thak khopa christian patian tu 
อ่าโอ้ยปะเทียนดูตาโตอันนี้ลงอ่าอันนี้กระเลงลงไปชวนช่วยบางชวนอ่าตอนนั้นชวนบ่อยนะตรงคอมพูยาเฮียนกันตร
ตัวเราเนี่ยเราเอ่อเฮ่ตอนนั้นตัวไทยลําเฟ่ตอนนี้เนี่ยอินนิงตัวเต็มเพลงมาเซ่กันที่เวชั่งสามเนี่ยคง
Ang uh, inti loang, <laughs> inti don loang ni ba te ba te ma te mo ati te lo reng reng. So wan so katiang a i avay na mo hey fa te so fa ka partial closure loan ta sa sa te mo sa te ba te ba ka ka consonant sounds. Te so vowel sound le consonant so kan so yang kan vowel consonant kan ti kan ati rami ka so a letter a chin chia na zo ni ya. And in the attacking to two are on rich water and canitani. True. Vowel two are into a line to the two and the consonant two are into a line to the two and the cup. Matter of left. Hm. So Vowel for can pose with the Wonga. He in Tier Zorzorula. So Vowel he a point more again that's on two. Tonga can be so to two nay the cuts of Malam dependent traitor in Keringa. At who came to cover well, Kanitani? Hey, he Kaban, Mo, Ban, Ah, Kakan, Kutani, Ban. Of a pun, they bunton in the yam, they can tear a pun to a carica ban. I saw the toy, they was over the road. So to me, so a pun to Lian Le, may I hate to run a bowl, pun tear than he taken tear. So on, he like my chicken bun, they am taken tear, and he done a low home layer. Kapanze, local night all along, in Natang and Panini, the cantilia too. A re remote poker Kalopot and Puyla Semetia. Reach the song song alone, Khan. A umsia Kadam, the fake man, the Mizotum Tiamlo Tanzan, and Tiazela. BIN, BIN, head for BIN, 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 fake, and the other. It's in the Sarasa and Kamo, Pante, Pante, Poka, Pantonia, Pantia, Pope, Pantonia. Marse. At who can a tenna say te, a tenna toy te, a tenna sang te, a tenna de at the can, a umzia ka, at the dangle of dani. Kaka me in anything a bizotum of piety is yet te. A vowel food and the car at the glow, the macan at the cashier that are bizotum de cashier the vangin, me in bizotum food the glow, the one so you can't so too. Kami dah cuma pai tu. Tapi kalau di sini macam tu, anda boleh tu. Kamu ada atau tidak tu lah? Kamu tu, hmm, hey, kami lain sih. Oh, hey, kan selok kamu, oh, bla, 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 tika. In sih, hey, hari. Selok kamu. In over a minute, tika. Oh, selok kamu, oh, in over phase of. Kan over lah, tu selok. Hmm, hey, zoom zoom, hey, handen gula. A clarity key in Anna and no money tuck and name, like a clarity key in Shetayan. Oh, do you know what I'm saying? Well, sound in a door, vector. Blah, oh, he a spelling to BLH and yeah, nonsense still on the nail of saying that blah, 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 and it's a BLH and yeah, I said, I read that on blah, blah, blah. In over fed, it is an overload. It is it. Naki na line po ato ang hunar. I rambo sa te ang hunar po ati amin ni tu. So an ko yung e vowel te hi datu. Vowel so ni si na kaso yung kan ha sa na ni ni alawin arit sa sa te ya at hu te sa ta. In over fed it is yan in fed ha in over so te ti te la. And took the wind over so they can or took the long. Masse as a token in over fed it's a tate a toy that I took to a fed it more than over low for him in over so in over fed it a car he a lalutu to so the well sound going on a little left and so check top. So on in hey he. Kasi yun nga hindi ato na tunin ka siya. Vawel ka alo ang dun ka miso chong ka i hey, lo vang di dehi kan soy china o le ay kara ka ni hemi sang dehi alo ang chinta ni a po vang di ah lo om di te kan soya anu del lo vin te kan tia a ron del ve lo ve te kan tita ni so ato di en le rin so na siyang maya Hmm. Masih 
Kami ka kan man na zu. Vowel linkage kan man na chan zu. Kan man na hun zu. Initial vowel ka o wani hun na ka na. Dang a zon in. Ani ve lo ta hai. Ani tu in. Ani tu in na la du am. Di te ka. Ani tu vin gan ting hai lo ni. I English ho zon an ne ve to hai. Gan dian. Gan dian philosophy ten te a su te a zon. Ne ru hi. Ne ru yan an ting hai lo ni. Ne ru yan an ting hai ta. คำหลังคอยสวยนะครับวีค่ะอันนั้นดาวเดตานี่มาเสกินิจุให้วีค่ะมามีอาคัมกันดาวเวกส่วนเราเฮ้แต่มีฮีอินิเชียลวาวเว
Trump Arabic Trump 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 ที่สร้างขึ้นมาจนไอเดียของการที่ตาเกิดจากการที่ที่ทำรูปกันที่ทำรูปมาเสร็จสร้างขึ้นจนที่ไอเดียของการที่ทำ